Hey everybody. It's Wednesday again. Welcome back Greetings. to the uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Let's uh let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. Because that's a thing that you do, you know, right? I'm having existential time, by the way, guys. I know like Jay and Mitch know this, but Zach and uh Jake do not. Uh, I, I pulled a, an unconscious man out of a smoke-filled apartment last night. Oh, wow. Um, so I'm kind of having existential, like, crises. At the I, I, I so, humble brag saves a life. So, no, like, my, 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 the way I DM and describe humble things might be a little brag. morbid tonight. Uh, no, it's it's less humble brag and more along the lines of like I've been I've been cussing myself all day long for not reacting faster and doing better and etc. Did the guy well, live? He's fine. Well, yeah, he's he's alive. I, I mean, I don't think it, it's fine. Like, I mean, he's alive. The cats are alive, right? Yeah, they're all. Yeah, fine. did you save the cats? Yeah, we got the cats. We got okay. him and his two cats out. Um, it's just a weird. Crazy situation. It makes you think, uh, right? Going through one of those scenarios that you're like, you're like, oh god, life is a thing. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go play some Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> now let's get away from it. Yeah, let's let us let us leave this her horrendously scary place <laughs> and uh, go somewhere else where we can die in peace. <laughs> so. That uh, being as, uh, done with, what else were the rest of you up to? Any any news? Anything to talk about? I How's leave going? in two days. You for do. The UK. You leave in two days for the UK. Where are you going first? London. London. I'm there for three days. Okay. Then where, uh, walk me through the itinerary. Where are you going? London. Three well, days. Three days then... in London, and then a train up to Edinburgh, and then okay. we're there for three days, okay. and then we take plane from edinburgh over to dublin for two days okay all right cool cool that sounds like fun you got any mm -hmm. any big plans that you're busy. gonna do while you're there like like we are definitely it doing this one aggressively oh, winging it Getting aggressively up. Up okay the That's it. wow all right like, then. pretty much one of my only like must do's is go to the whiskey experience in scott or in edinburgh <laughs> Wow. That's fair. They have like every scotch imaginable. I mean, I guess if that's if you're gonna have one thing that you gotta put on the list, you know? No like priorities. No like right. kissing Blarney stones or anything like that, you know? I don't wanna I, kiss a fucking rock. I hear that's how you get a disease. Yeah. Only if your Just immune checking. system is shit. So what's going on? Okay, so uh so that sounds cool. Uh what about the rest of you guys? What are y'all doing? Or what have you been up to? I also I also leave in two days. You leave to go nowhere, though. You you leave so that you can leave the outside world and play. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Shadows Rising. Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers. Sorry. He's gonna bring Shadow. I feel <laughs> like Jeremy's yucking his yum right now. Not in the slightest. Why do you you guys accuse me of yucking everything's yum? Like if why I, is that such a term lately? Why I don't know. They're overusing the fuck out of it. Because I cause, have used it once and it was five seconds ago. Because all, all of you use it too much. Jay it's only because you it hang on. out with Jay way too much. Jay turned it on about two weeks ago, and then everything in the last two weeks has been yucking someone's yum. Everything. Not sorry. <laughs> okay, so Zach, you're gonna be playing uh, fourteen. With the new expansion aggressively, aggressively yeah. over the next week sounds, sounds like fun <laughs> sounds like fun i started seeing i started seeing uh oh for the fucking uh the guy from spider-man in in Tom Holland? peter yeah. parker it, Tom it, Holland, yeah doing he did an ad for yeah it. doing the, the ad for 14 and i'm like wow really yeah damn They're okay because he's kind of yeah he's kind of a he's kind of hot shit like he's kind of a big deal right now so, Wait, Tom Holland as himself? Yeah, Tom Holland yeah. as himself, yeah. Just as promoting the game. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's yeah. cool. So it was uh it was cool. Uh they also did a, an anime one. Yeah. But that's Japanese only. But yeah, yeah, yeah. fine, it's good. Cool, cool. Uh -huh. Jay, what have you been up to? And what are you Man, getting up to? I've been, I I finished up blood, uh, Bloodstained. Bloodstained, but yeah. 
your your power level is a little bit larger than mine. You were I, able to. I played way too much of that game. Way mm -hmm. too fucking much of that game. And then I am in the final dungeon in my four job fiesta run. Oh shit! Okay, so you made it. Cause you okay? Well, so with your four job fiesta, remind me what classes you got. Cause you got like a really crappy combination. Yeah, I've I've, I've got knight, dragoon, dancer, and red mage. Yeah, so my red mage is none, my only form yeah, of healing. None of the quintessential like like combos of like ninja or ranger or anything unlocking uh, I, like I've multiple attacks or shit like that. Yeah, I've been through every single skill across all four jobs, and none of them really interchange well with one another. That sucks. At all. But, I mean, hey, that's four job fiesta, right? Especially since you're playing, what, it's the pure chaos or whatever? Pure chaos, yeah. Which so. means... Still uh, awesome. I might I might actually, now that I'm done with Bloodstain, next weekend maybe I'll I'll pick up, uh, maybe I'll jump into the four job fiesta, because it goes for like two or Hell three months, yeah. right? Uh, it goes to like August. Yeah, yeah. What so is Four Job Fiesta? Four Job Fiesta. I am so glad you asked, Zach. Oh God, let's we're do it. Be here for an hour. No, no, no. Okay, keep it, keep it tight, keep it tight. But give an explanation because I think it's a cool event, thing. Event uh, to raise charity where you play Final Fantasy V, uh, and you tweet to a bot on Twitter that will assign you jobs randomly, and you have to use those jobs and those jobs only as a kind of challenge. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. yep. Pretty cool. And FF5 is is like the quintessential, aside from tactics, it is the quintessential job class Final Fantasy. That is, it's like the best representation of job classes in Final Fantasy outside of tactics. Absolutely. In my opinion, anyway. I could, I, 11? Like... I, I, outside of tactics. I, I, I think 5 is a better representation than 11, but that is my opinion. Mm, that's debatable. Well, here's the thing. The the this is the reason I say why without I think ever that, playing it. Yeah, that's fair. The reason why I think it's a better representation than than eleven or even maybe like fourteen or something like that is that well, fourteen is all kind of fucked up. Yeah, it, but it's that those those two are highly derivative of five because five is kind of like five was the culmination of the the class job. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's cool. Uh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jake, what have you been up to? What are you being up to? Not a whole lot. Okay. Really don't have anything to report. Well, shit, Jake. We had some Sorry. highs. We had some lows. It's okay. I mean, you started with the highs. It kind of set me up for failure. It's not <laughs> uh, my fault. Next time, you gotta, you gotta like, message me on Discord to be like, dude, I don't got anything. Put me in the middle of the pack. <laughs> 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 that way I'm like, uh, no. I like to bring us down before the D&D game. Before we game. get started? Yeah. Yeah, you know, just, just, just balance us out so that if we really fuck something up, then well, you know. we're good. We're good. All right. At least as boring as Jake. I am prepared for battle. Let us go. Speaking of fucking something up, let's let's do a little bit of a recap. Oh my god. Um, of what happened last time on uh, session two of Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So let us begin. You found yourselves face to face with a coterie of vampires on the first floor of the dungeon under mountain. Uh, Ezra began to negotiate with their leader, one Uktarl Cranach, and during this, a few oddities began to crop up that Matt realized, um, and it, it came to mind for him that this whole vampire business was just a ruse. He was able to convey this information telepathically to each of you, um, utilizing his, because we haven't really gotten into this, uh, a lot, utilizing his um, special Kalishtar abilities. Um, nevertheless, you all agreed to perform a service for Uktarl in return for safe passage, and that service was to head north and slay Haria, the leader of the other half of the Coterie. And, and to accomplish this, you were allowed passage and led north by some of Uktarl's minions. Um, there you found a great room within which stood a throne of bone and a desiccated wyvern corpse, but your presence was noted, uh, and Haria Valashtar attacked you with her coterie as well as her flesh golem. 
uh, through clever tactics, werewolf forms, and a pretty snazzy hypnotic pattern, you were able to best these faux vampires, slaying Haria and her flesh golem, but actually keeping the majority of the rest of the others alive. Um, one in particular, a doppelganger by the name of Anastas Kingseeker, was able to inform you of the situation between Haria and Uktarl, um, and provide you with a relatively large amount of solid information and after he was such or after they sorry were such a forthcoming individual uh, and they seemed to be kind of like down on their luck you all offered Anastas a job back at the lifted spirits which they accepted so pan forward an hour right you took a short rest um, the uh, the other faux vampires are still unconscious. Anastas is recovering, right? And then you all decided that Uktarl was too vile a man to leave in charge. So you headed back south in order to unseat him. Now that Haria was no longer a threat to his dominion, right? He had to be dealt with personally. So... You headed south to do this, and when you made contact, Ashes shifted into werewolf form, attempting to intimidate the bandits, but instead uh, succeeded in terrifying them into immediately attacking you. <laughs> um, and battle ensued. And while that battle went in your favor... Uh, Ashes was repeatedly unable to control his form and attacked the rest of you. Now, all the bandits are dead or have fled, uh, but Uktarl, who fled earlier in the battle, is now facing off against Bones alone. So the question now is, can Bones survive until his allies arrive? hope so i really hope so so let's go ahead and flip it actually over to our battle map i need to move you guys to the map here we go loading in Carl. i'll come over there and take care of that nasty tabaxi for you <laughs> yeah right whose side are you on holy shit all right let's move it on over we are back on the battlefield and since we are back on the battlefield and still in initiative order Let's kick on some um, b -b -b battle music. Battle music. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. So, last we had left off, uh, I believe Ashes had just lunged forward, and didn't he hit you, Matt? Sure did. Molly yeah. walked the fuck out of me. But afterwards, right? You were able to... Oh, who took down Rose? Was that you? No, that was Ezra. Ezra had just taken down Rose, right? Ezra, yes. So we are we are at the end of Ezra's turn, and Ezra had just basically, like, whoosh, like clawed through um, this bandit, right, who, who was crying out in anguish over the loss of her best friend uh, that Matashtai had slain. Right? Um, so, Ezra, I think we ended your turn. You did a full move and a an action, right? Okay, so we move now to Matashtai. All right, Matashtai, you're up. What do you want to do? Um, we'll first look at the two friends that just died at our hands. And I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then... I run after Bones. And, uh, yeah, okay. You run after Bones. Do you have the movement correct with the arrow? He does. Yep, he yep. Does. It's all good. Okay. Um, someone yeah. do me a favor while we're getting into this, since we just started the stream. Can someone check the stream and make sure all of the audio is correct and everything like that? I'm pretty yeah. sure, 99% sure everything's working as intended now, but I'm still a little finicky after that first one. Yeah, Step okay. of the wind. Yeah, seems to be fine. Dope. Step of the wind, uh, so you're going to burn a key point. 10, 15, 20. So that actually 20. sets you down to, uh, like, 
Because you used one earlier, didn't one you? Left. Oh, you only have one left? Even after the short rest? Don't you get them back on a short me, rest? My thing showed two when I opened my character sheet, so I'm going off of that. Oh, shit. Okay. I, that doesn't seem oh, right, no. though, because you guys, you guys took a short rest after fighting Haria. And don't you get all your key back on a short rest? I do. I think you only used one or two key points in this no, fight. No, because I, I patient defensed. That's one. And then I flurried a blowed. That's two. And I th think I step of the wind to get in on that fight, didn't I? Like from here mm. to here? Maybe. So, maybe that's right. what it was. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, so maybe you are actually just down to two left. All right. Okay. So you step in the wind, you go dashing around, you see, where, what do you see? Oh yeah, so you come up to this first door that's been flung open right to the north and you can see bones like ducking and dodging blows. Whoosh, whoosh, the scimitar slicing the air next to him and over his head. But right you can't be witness me getting cut down. Yeah, but you, you can just barely actually see uh, his assailant, which is Uktarl. All right, well, since I can't get a beat on him, I'm just going to action dash again. Okay, sure. Uh, just so much. Between just Bones just and me. and Five. Bones being a tabaxi 30. and being a rogue and being able to dash as a bonus action, right? Blank, and blank and Matashtai being able to, get to step of the wind sorry. and uh. shit like and being a, a monk and having increased move speed like those two are like and ashes and ezra are in the back just going hey guys what, what? <laughs> bye Man. i see i see this scenario happening a lot until either bones or matt dies <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably right here. Uh, okay, so you rush up. Uh, that's your movement. That's your your bonus action. That's your action. Um, you are able to close. And as you circle around, right, uh, bones. You've seen. You saw just like uh, um, as Uktarl lashed out at you in, in surprise, right? When he when he came at you when you first came in here, uh, he had he had anger fury right he had a uh, will to kill you as another person shows up right that that starts to turn to fear <laughs> um but it is his turn so he is going to attempt to drop Ooh. yeah he's gonna attempt to drop you bones so he's gonna take another scimitar slash at you all right that's a 20 yeah, that'll hit yeah. six damage i want to interject my spear <laughs> so you try, right? You you can like, whoosh, right in this in this melee that is forming. Bones is ducking and diving and throwing up. You you have like short swords, right? That's Bones. Cool. That's a cool. Like deflecting oh, blows, I'm right? And, double bladed and, scimitar. Oh, you have the double bladed scimitar, right? Um, Matt's trying to like interpose with his spear, but Uktarl is still like, for all for all the fact that this fake vampire business is obvious. Uh, obviously a ploy right and uktarl is obviously somewhat of a coward having run um at the beginning of the fight he's still a skilled swordsman so he he is able to still dart past uh and and score a blow he's gonna keep attacking press the attack on bones Ooh, nope, nope. his skill Good. fades uh i'm gonna does... spin it I'm spending it like Darth Maul, dog. <laughs> and uh, he will take a third and final attack, attempting to get in your guard with the dagger that he now has in his offhand. 14 is a miss. Nope. Okay, no, unfortunate. So, like, you see, right, you saw that, that, that uh, hint of fear, right, wash over his face. Um, when Matashtai came around and it was no longer 1v1, 
Um, and but he still pressed the attack, and then when he was unsuccessful in dropping you, you see that that fear uh, uh, in his eyes just wash over his whole face. So that is your turn now, <clears throat> Bones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um. We're doing bonus action self potions, right? Yes. Awesome. Bonus action self potion. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Don't kill me. I, wow. I hear the okay. uh, dark uh, blast noise. <laughs> right. One d four plus four. Two d four plus four. Two two d four plus two uh, is what it is. One d four. One more d four. Yeah. Well, it is. <laughs> What? I'm just gonna recall it. Two D four plus two. Is that what it is? Isn't it no, for for a basic healing potion? Two D four plus two. Two D yeah, yeah, four yeah. plus two. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Four. It got worse. <laughs> How the <Wow>. hell? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Whatever. Well, I hey. feel so safe. I shift around him into the corner and I slash at him. Oh yeah. Okay. So you you dance around right. There's this like little shuffle. I I imagine like. He slashes, slashes, stabs, right? You were able to deflect part of the blows, and then Matashtai, like, thrusts in the spear, trying to, like, break off the fight and push him back. And in that moment, Bones, you slip out of his reach, under the spear, and just, like, twirl around behind him. Don't oh, my God. Yeah, that'll hit. 20, 20 is definitely going to hit. Uh, it's you, yeah, you only need sneak attack. You only have to have someone yep. in melee for it, right? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, you just, you, like, poof, whirl behind him and slash him across the back. He, uh, he takes the blow, right? You realize, like, he's not wearing heavy armor. He's got, uh, he's got, like, some sort of leather armor underneath his clothing, um, that which catches a good portion of the blow, but not enough to to dull that. Um, oh that's, yeah, stuck in. That's your turn, though, right? Because you've used your bonus action already, so you can't use your extra that's attack. Everything. Okay, sounds good. Ashes, uh, you hear the sounds of battle to the south or to the uh, west, sorry, and you hear the people fleeing. To the south. What do you want to do? Um, Ashes, knowing that there's trouble afoot, is going to uh, use his action to dash and follow the sounds of battle. Okay. There's trouble afoot. Ah! 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 That's the sound of battle, eh? Okay, yeah, so you Ashes, flash. you go, you go dashing fire. around, and you can see uh, to the north here uh, a set of doors opening. Um, opening. Ezra, you're up. Like in the process of opening? No, no, no. Or they're they're op opened up. Sorry. Uh, Ezra is going to make sure the 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 wolf is ahead of him. Yeah. But is going There's to no follow suit. Really. <laughs> That's 45. Huh? 50, 55. That's just All right. This turn. Sounds good. Uh, Matashta, you and Bones now have Uktarl um, cornered, but you've seen, right? You've seen the scimitar in his he hand slashing out at you uh, at bones specifically not not at you yet but you know right you see what he is yeah, capable yeah. of doing um and you know like one wrong move and you or bones could be dead okay what do you want to do i'm gonna flow over to the opposite side of bones here uh-huh pirouetting uh -huh. and as That's i get right. there i'm gonna stomp on the ground and thrust my hand forward at um what's his nuts What's his nuts? Uktar. 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 It's like a it's like a little dance we do when we fight. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, um, the twenty three is definitely gonna hit. I am going to stunning strike him. Yeah. Oh shit! I figured you would try that. Okay, so this is your last key point, though, right? Correct. Okay, so what does he need to do? 
Constitution DC saving throw? 14 Constitution saving throw. 14? Okay, he has a plus dose. You you pirouette around, right? Bring the bring the spear up and kind of like fake him out, and then just thrust underneath with your hand right in his gut, just and he just fist. like cool. <laughs> There's the there's the you know the anime trope the like way too much pressure behind force or pressure behind a blow than there should be Hell and there's yeah. the there's the little like ripple through his body as it kind of like spits blood <clears throat> right <clears throat> coughs it out um and he is stunned he is stunned for the turn just do like the Dragon Ball C thing where you see like the fist pushing out of their back mm -hmm. like the <laughs> not that not that extreme <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> you see an actual fist. It's not, not freaking skin, but we're not that far. Give give him a couple levels, please. Jeez. No, no, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Uktarl is stunned. Uh, rest of your turn. So uh, that means the change anything. I just have advantage on my attacks, right? No, yeah. You should just have advantage on your attacks. Okay. Um, I'm going to two-handed strike for my Whack second him. attack. Okay, Ooh, yeah, the 18 damage. will definitely hit. And then uh, with my bonus action, I'm going huh? to kick him at the kneecaps, trying to drop him low. <sighs> okay, so are you, are, are you, you're just flavoring? Yeah, yeah, just flavor. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll I don't have sure. anything that can actually make him prone. Sure. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, so you you stun him with this this forceful blow to the chest, and then afterwards he's a sitting duck. So you just kind of wail on him. And then I I shout out to Bones, strike now. Um, and it is Uktarl's turn. He is stunned until the end of your next turn, right? That's my understanding. Yes, that I'll is click the thing that is a sure. busted move. Uh, <laughs> it, it absolutely is, and I love it. Bones. You're up. Damn, already? Alright, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna cut him. Cut the shit I'm out of him. I'm gonna cut him up. Cut him up. Cut him up. Yeah. Uh, did, That'll hit. Didn't this crit? No, this no crit? it's not a crit. No. Stunned, stunned is not uh, incapacitated. I don't believe it so. Is, well, it does say they are incapacitated. Alright, well... But incapacitated says they can't take actions or reactions. Ah, gotcha. It's paralyzed that's an auto-crit. Paralyzed, it? yeah. Paralyzed auto -crit. yes. Paralyzed Man, or, paralyzed. or unconscious, right? Unconscious is also an auto-crit if you're within five feet. Alright, okay. whatever. I cut him. Yeah, you cut the shit yes. out of him. So the first one... The first one, you take the... Uh, you take the main blade of the double-headed bladed scimitar right the or your primary one and you basically like up through his chest and out right like you stab him yeah. in the back up through his chest and there is a blade of bone protruding from his chest in front of your face matash time and bone blade like blood just spurts out um you I dodge rip the blood. The blade. I would like to dodge the blood. Can I dodge the blood? Uh, we'll say we'll say you like whoosh, dodge, and there's just like a little flick on one cheek. Perfect. <laughs> We're so fucking animated. I don't know why? <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so you rip the sword back out of him, bones. Um, and you know, like this this man's life is in your hands. Like if you hit him again, he's dead. So you go, you go to make the second attack. Are you, are you killing him? Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Cut him up. Okay. How do you want to kill yeah. him? How do, you, how do you want to finish this off? I'm just stab him again, bro. You wanna... stab him. Like Bones isn't fancy. He's just like, okay, I stabbed you like, once. I'll just, I'll just I'm gonna stab you quick, again, bro. Like, so he's like uh, through the back, right? I'll just put the other one straight through the heart. Just spin your double bladed <laughs> weapon and just like a propeller and just. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's too messed up. No, nah, that's, nah, that's just, a little messed up. Just uh, pull the other out and just straighten his heart. So he, you, the blade pulls out. Right, there's this sucking noise. Um, Gross. as that's the disgusting. as the air intake goes in, right, 
and then there's another his lungs <clears throat> immediately collapse yeah his lungs immediately collapse he's stunned right so he can't really do anything and bones you're behind him so you don't see this but matashta you see this you see just horror pain fear everything on this man's face and then you hear another and this bone spear protrudes from his chest at where his heart would be and he collapses and dies and rest maybe he should have been a better dude in so, the so I'm gonna think about that Maybe he should have not been such a fuck. <laughs> very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, um, real quick, before we do anything, let me get the dive. calculator out. Uh, okay, so you earn uh, 500 experience for besting the Uktarl half of the Undertakers. Mm. Yeah, you guys well. only, I think you only heard it once from like Anastas. He called it the Undertakers. Um, is what they, the, is what they called themselves. I think Uktarl might have said it once too, right? When you very first met him, he introduced himself and then he introduced the Coterie as the Undertakers. Right, mm -hmm. or or he might have said you're in the Undertaker's territory or something, right? Were these two factions the entirety of the Undertakers, or do we know that? Uh, that's what Anastas seemed to imply to you, right? Like maybe there are a few that are around and about. You don't know about that, right? But sure. these two factions were the the body. Got it. Okay, so that is 250, or sorry, 500 experience for that fight. Um, and as we fall out of combat, right, um, Ashes and Ezra, you you were both already in hot pursuit, rushing forward. So uh, go ahead and move yourselves up there, assuming that, right, you know, in the in the moments after Uktarl falls, Ashes and Ezra dash into the room, right, and see him... Uh, half like kneeling and slumping over right uh pooling in his closing, own blood I close his eyelids okay um with all of you in this room right uh i don't think i actually had described it to bones when he first entered in here because he was surprised by uh Uktarl's assault and that was kind of taking his whole attention but in the center of the room sits a small table a little five by five table and it's strewn with cards and has a plate of what actually is warm meat on it still warm meat um the entire northern section of the wall is one large stone fresco depicting a rugged mountain and it's hollowed so that it has the mountain right but the, the depiction is hollowed out with caverns containing tiny sculpted figures of dwarves. And then uh, behind the mountain, kind of like in the backdrop of this fresco, there are rays of brilliant sunlight fanning out over the edges of the wall. Um, and directly in front of this fresco, right? Like uh, the fresco is about like hip height and up, right? Below that is a, carved into the floor, uh, is a large recessed stone tub. Like, for bathing? Looks like it would be. It looks like it would hold water, right? Or bleed. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear oh dear indeed so all right well we took care of that just uh, um <clears throat> ezra is confused well you speak in the third person now uh, uh, this is new i don't think that was he in he approaches character. the body okay 
and tries to determine if this is really, in fact, a vampire. Definitely we, not. We kind of... Okay. We, yeah. uh, my like, impression was the, the other people were not. The, the other but. people, yeah. So, so yeah, there was always maybe that kind of, like, potential that, uh, that the coterie was fake and maybe Uktara was not. But now, like, covered in blood and, uh, like, having been slain like this, uh, you can see, like, one fang is slightly displaced, right? Like, obviously not real. Uh, mm -hmm. makeup smudged across his face. Uh, there's a, obviously, like, the the body is warm. Um, the blood is warm, etc. Right? It was, it was a very good disguise, but a ruse. Ezra would extract the fangs and then loot the body. You you go to to extract the fangs and they literally just pop out, and <laughs> and you can see there's little indents, right? Uh, they seem to be made out of You're bone, his teeth? right? Huh? No, Matt is disgusted. You took his teeth. The, so they do seem to be made out of bone and there's some tacky substance on the inside of them, but they're clearly, like, hollowed out, and they fit over his own actual canines. These are, are proof for uh, when we get up there and they, they ask about dealing with the vampires. It, it and possible. what else did you say you were doing? You looting took his teeth and, and looting the body? <clears throat> okay, so... Uh... Okay. Um, while that is happening, what else are the rest of you? Um, I'm actually going to go back into the other room where we murdered all those poor people. <laughs> and I'm going to try and, you know, organize their bodies off to the side and say a small prayer for each of them. Okay. Gotcha. Are you also looting their bodies? No. No. Does They're someone not. want to loot their bodies, or am I gonna have I'll to go, go through like the treasure listing, like loot. parcel out Yay, the bodies yeah. that Matash died doesn't loot, so you guys get less shit? <laughs> yeah, we want to loot all of them. Oh, just, no. okay. just assume that if if there is a body, at some point Ezra would check it before the group um, would depart. I'm not gonna assume shit. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell me. I, I will remind you every time, but I just am, know you don't need to split stuff up. I am a thousand times prepared for that, and I love it. It will be awesome. Okay, so you start to uh, move the bodies over. You know, we'll put them all over here on the left side. Um, so that's what Matashta is doing. Um, Ezra is going around looting some of the bodies. Bones, what are you doing? If um, cloaks or anything, I'd like put that over them. Sure. Well, uh, yeah, they they have they have kind of these um, burgundy-ish cloaks. Um, <laughs> now that you're actually like paying attention to them, like looking closely at them, that's just a really shitty dye job. Oofles. I want to loot him. Yeah. Okay. Um, is, the are pirate. You, are you looting the room? Are you what's what's going on? Both. Okay. So you guys split off. Take care of the bodies. Uh, Start Jeremy, looking through everything. I, whenever I loot the bodies here, uh, I would also like to investigate the skeleton that was against, uh, I think, was it here? Sure, sure. Okay. And it had something beside its hand, like a rod or something. I can't, it's been a week, so I can't rightly remember. Yep. Not a problem. So uh, within the room where ashes and matashtai are um i don't care which one of you does this but write this down actually i will just copy pasta it thank you C -c -c copy pasta no confusion you find amongst the things of the dead you find 49 Nibs, 17 shards, 35 dragons, and 7. Uh, what are the big ones? Moons? The silvery moons? Rich boys. A couple, yeah. 
Um, and you also find, uh, the only other thing of note that you find in this room, right, uh, is from you inspecting that, uh, it's a, it's the body of a long dead goblinoid, and there is a white wooden staff, kind of like draped over it, but it's been broken in half. Staff of power. That's the only other thing that you find. Dude, it's 100% was a staff of power. Of any sort of note, right? Um, From the first level. And of the reminder, dungeon. right? He the, broke it! The, uh... The, um, statues themselves, right? Are of, uh, Water Davian nobles in archaic decorative plate armor. Um, assuming that you kind of, like, take a look at them while uh you're you know looking about you see that each of the statues has a little nameplate right um and you can with a little bit of effort make out what they are the southern statue's name is elendron and again i'll just copy pasta this for you the middle statue the central one is ruthendar and the top one is Anthalas. But these names, and I tell you, I say this, right? You have a little bit of difficulty deciphering them because they've been crossed out with chalk. And you read, you, you speak goblin, don't you? Ashes. I speak goblin, yes. Um, they're, they're crossed out with chalk and they've been written over in chalk you have to like wipe it, the chalk away a little bit to see what their real names are um but there have been new names added over the top in goblin and the the names are smelly bottom stupid skull and born toothless mm, okay. born toothless yeah so if you would like this is i'm just That's gonna goblin for shade. i'm just gonna give these to you right um those are the names of the, the actual names of the statue statues right and then these are the goblin names of the statues. <laughs> so, um, okay. And in the other room, right? In the other room, you guys find uh, between what Uktarl has on him himself, right? And what is on the table you find a couple of different things. You find uh, 220 nibs. Uh, you fi actually find two small coin, coin purses with those in there. Coin um, purses. Coin purses, along with 91 shards, 85 dragons. And I'll just copy pasta that for you. So that's what you find as far as money goes. You also find a small silver ring engraved with dwarven symbols. Do either of you speak dwarf? Dwarven? Dwarvish? I do. You do? Okay. Um, the, so these these dwarven symbols, bones, um, at first, like, you take a look at them, you're like, wait a second. Maybe, maybe they're not the same symbols. Maybe the dwarven symbols in in Toral don't mean the same thing as they did in Aber. But you're thinking about it and you're like, nah, they I mean they look exactly the same. Um it's it the ring is carved in symbols associated with fertility and sexual potency. Mmm, yeah, baby. <laughs> so it's this little Wee. silver silver ring carved with uh dwarven symbols of of sexual potency. Ha. Huh. Well. And then you also find a, what amounts to a full explorer's pack, um, a full set of thieves tools, and a marked card deck. Uh, hey. Full adventurer's pack. Um, thieves tools. Thieves tools. Okay. Um, wow, and that's what you find as possible. far as treasure goes. Um, so looting and looking about, that seems done, or looting seems done, right? Is there anything else you guys want to do? Any looking about or uh, 
expecting or anything like that. Let's... Yeah, I want to look about why, why, why did he come back here? I, I want to see if there's like a secret way out. Or so something. you come, you start looking I about. I think it's weird. You start looking about a bit more and you get closer to that tub and you see inside oh, I just the. went through the wall. Oh no! It'll Believe let me that. through the wall in the upper left hand corner. <laughs> <laughs> in in the tub is basically a uh, like a pillow and a um a mat. Like he's like he's turned the tub into a bed. Mm, weird. So um maybe he just ran back here because this was his room. Yeah. Mm. But uh but be be beyond the tub is a is this fresco right of the the mountain with the sun behind it and the little dwarf carvings inside the mountain little dwarven miners etc okay so specifically like you searching flow, for like trying to find a secret it, passage or something like that yeah, oh, yeah, yeah i think it's weird he came back here with a <laughs> plan roll me a perception check like, why didn't he have, like, a ballista sitting here waiting a to kill us? A ballista sitting here? That's, that's... That's what he should have had. I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, he should have. I should have thrown him open the outside door and... Doom! Doom. Just got pinned against the wall. Like the foot. Definitely. What am I rolling? Investigation? Uh, perception. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so you, you begin to kind of, like, look around while this is happening. Ezra, are you doing anything else? Are you, are you, uh, uh, just maintaining, you know, visual of one party member at the same time? You got me doing math, and I'm focusing on trying to do math right. Hey, you guys can just write it all down in a document and split it all out later. It's not like you need the money at this moment. At this moment. our It is your uh... Um. Do I recognize the fresco? Does it seem like a place I would recognize? Uh, you become infatuated with the fresco. Roll me an intelligence check. Wait, what was said? I didn't find anything. No, 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 we're, we're, I'm asking what's happening at the same time. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Ezra, uh, Bones is kind of, like, poking about and looking at things and feeling for things and kind of, like, blowing air and stuff like that, and you're kind of standing back a little bit, Ezra, um, looking at it, and it dawns on you, right? Um, the, the craftsmanship, the artwork itself isn't, it's not... A good enough depiction to be like oh i know exactly what this is because it perfectly represents you know this mountain or this location or whatever right um but it doesn't need to it's it's location within location right this is uh you guys are in under mountain which is the originally the abode of or originally the abode of elves but after that uh, the abode of the malarcan dwarves so this seems like a a fresco made by them depicting them entering into Undermountain and carving out its tunnels and setting up their great halls, etc. Right? And it's as this moment kind of like dawns on you, Ezra, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense, right? Bones pokes one of their heads. Like one of these little dwarves, little like two inch high dwarves, right? He pokes one of their heads and the whole head kind of like indents in and then pops out slightly. And nothing moves, nothing opens. But Bones, you you can see this little head kind of like pop out slightly and you grab it and you pull it out and it's it's a key and the end of the key is just this little dwarven head. Okay. <laughs> That's super weird. Is there a keyhole anywhere? Not that you've seen, no. Hmm. Is it in the tub? I mean, with your... So, so here's how I'm playing That's it, super right? super weird. I just, I look at Ezra, I'm like, ha here's, here's how I'm playing your perception as a heads up, right? I'm playing your perception in the scenario of 
your your base, you can't go below it, right? Um, oh. But when you roll, you have the chance to go higher than you would, right? Normal. Okay. That's why occasionally I'll still be like, "Hey, make me a roll," because maybe you'll get really, really high on it or something like that. Um, but so your base is eighteen, right? Yeah. Yeah, so with an 18, you, I mean, you found the key, but there wasn't anything else. So you take Weird. that as you can take that as a there is nothing else, or as a you you weren't high enough to find it. That's up to you. But right, uh, yeah, Dorfed key. Sure. Um, so that kind of done, right? Uh, there there doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in the room. Well, I mean. If it's up to, it's up to you. If it's, but there's nothing else to describe within the room. Um. So, what? What do you guys want to do now? Well, I can use the short breather. Um, I definitely probably could do. Um. There are like other rooms back here. Well, we there we are did other rooms back what, there. What uh, Ashes was asked to do? Do do we want to go up and? I think we should get safe first. Like, you know, check the area. There's rooms off shooting this one, right? I, I mean, should we really go exploring right now? I'm 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 a little a little rough, and I kind of wince at, at uh, Ashes. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, why are you hitting people? <laughs> the southern the southern drawl. <laughs> I, I hadn't gotten it yet tonight, Mitch, but you just hit me with it and I'm I, just I like, I forgot damn. about it until like right this second. <laughs> da, 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 damn. <laughs> um, uh, You're still works. a werewolf right now, aren't you? Yeah, but like... like How, how long does the werewolf form like last? A very bashful werewolf. It's an uh, hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely still a werewolf as long as you haven't reason. dropped it intentionally. Yeah, I, I usually don't. I'm probably not normally going to willingly drop it unless sure. the, there's a situation. You probably should have dropped it when you started raging amongst us. <laughs> I actually don't know what it takes to drop it. Like, if it, I think it's just an action. I think it's it. an action to shift yeah. forms, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. We can always double check later if you have to do it in like battle, but outside of combat, it's it's a moot point. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I mean, are we? Uh, you guys reconvene, so, right? And you start talking about what you want to do next. Because right now, you guys are not together. So let's assume that you all kind of like meet up in the hallway or something. Move, move all right, we're all. we're in the hallway. Okay. Move this hallway? these layers or, here. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I can't move anything. The map is so bad right now. Um. So again, so laggy, boy, but right. It's typically going to be better to use the arrow keys instead of trying to pick up and. Draw, drag and drop, right? That increases your lag time. Heads up. But moving around arrow keys is typically a little more responsive. Uh, it's it's flawlessly responsive. Like there is no delay at all. So, uh, you guys are you met back up in the in the hallway and you you opened up this dialogue, right? You know, um, Ezra talking about, hey, we've completed kind of like what we were asked to do. Do we want to go back up top and report that? Um, and, and, or are we, are we crashing here for a little while? Do we want to rest before we go anywhere? Do we want to, um, explore more that we're here? Drinking. Sure. Cool. Worked up a sweat. Yeah. Actually, I mean, you guys are getting close. You're, you're, you're not there yet, right? But you're, you're at about five and a half hours of having been down here, right? So... Um, basically every eight hours, you know, you, you need, you need a certain amount of food of wa food and water a day, right? So sorry, every, my bread. every eight hours is basically the concept of like, you take half your, your daily rations 
um, every eight, eight hours or so. So you guys are getting close to that kind of like lunchtime period. You would say lunchtime. Although, I I, was, wait, well, how long? But that's the thing. Like there? you guys, you guys actually came down here at like nine in in the evening. So like it's super early in the Did morning. Did we start that late? Yeah. Yes, yes, everyone wanted late. to go in at night yeah, instead because... of. Oh yeah, that was yeah, really smart of us. Now, Look how well it went. Anything. So now it's like, uh, what what would that be? It's like two a.m. Like or so, two or three in the morning. So, so what do you guys want to do? Um, I think hey. we're all waiting on Ashes's response. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, listen. that. Because uh, it is your mission, so. Oh, I think that's the different response that they're looking for. Uh, they're waiting on a. They're waiting on a what the fuck yo response. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, uh, all right. Um, that too. I I I owe you an apology. Um, I, I know all of you an apology. Um, one of the reasons uh, I set out from the order is to learn how to better control uh, the, this whole thing and. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm not there yet. Um, I I kind of intend to head back to the order once I've mastered it. Um, and I know we haven't been working very long together, and this could cause some trust issues, and uh, oh. it's completely understandable. And uh, I've I've been in this position before. Um, any words I could use would be hollow. So instead, uh, I believe action would probably better help in maybe earning forgiveness and, and eventually your trust. And uh, with that, uh, Ashes will uh, dig through his uh, belongings and produce a dagger. Uh, Is he going to cut off his hand? Do what? <laughs> no, just from his, from his pack. And it's, he's holding it by the sheath and... Uh, <laughs> He, he looks at the three of you and I guess he's going to hand it to Bones. Uh, you seem to not mind too much dirty work because I saw what you did to that guy in there. Um, you, you did not. I saw, I saw, what <laughs> you saw the aftermath. Yeah. yeah. Blood for blood. <laughs> blood for the blood god. Um, if, if you were to unsheath this dagger, you would see that it was a pristine silver dagger okay, um, sure. if you find me irredeemable I encourage you to use this whether it's in my sleep if I'm awake I won't fight you just huh. promise me that you won't use it on anything else uh, silver is a very soft uh, and flimsy metal and I'd prefer the blade to be sharp it's going to be used on me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, once again, exposing the weakness of steel. Or of metals. <laughs> this just yes. works into Bones' favor. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck metals. Uh, <laughs> if there's ever a time that I do earn you guys' trust, you can return the dagger to me. But until that time, I promise to do my best to avoid what happened today. Yeah, right. I put well, it in my bag. Uh... That's good for the future, but... It'll, like, kill you instantly? Just straight up murder you? Damn. It, the, the dagger will not kill him instantly. No, okay. but he, he <laughs> did suggest, basically, like, like if he can't control himself and if he becomes too much... If he becomes more of a problem than an asset, he basically said, murder me in my sleep with it. So... Uh, I yeah. will say, like, oh. out of character, uh, this, is, this is legitimately an option I want to give to you guys. Like, at any point you feel this character is too much of a detriment to the party, I'm giving you the option to get me to re-roll a character. Like, no salt, no hard feelings. <laughs> get me to re-roll oh, yeah. a cleric, cool. and it'll be great. Wow. 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 Uh, in character, um, Matt kind of looks at the dagger and says, Well, I don't got no interest in that. What I do That's... have an interest in is popping you one for hitting me so get out of that form i'm gonna punch you in the face <laughs> cut, cut off his hand cut off the cursed hand 
<laughs> yeah, uh, he still has the he still has the long sword in his other hand. <laughs> <laughs> like this whole in time, just carrying around this long sword. Uh, where is the? Oh. Uh, so he Ashes drops one. Uh, yeah. And I mean, it is not a it is not a nice, quick, pleasant experience. It is qu it is quick, but it's yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's ungodly. Uh, once he's done doing that, I say, "You ready?" And then Jeez. crack him across the jaw. Punch him in the face. He's down. Jesus, I hit him really hard. You hit him really <laughs> fucking hard. In fairness, he hit you really fucking hard too. Okay. He did. He cut me up. <laughs> so noted, I don't have to I don't have to actually take you guys down. I just need to let you guys do it to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then after after that, after Ashes takes it, and I'm assuming just brick wall standing there. Um Matt holds out his hand. It's a good hit. We're even. Until the next time you swipe me. Then I'm gonna smack the shit <laughs> out of you. Then I'm gonna again. smack the shit out of you again. Jesus. <laughs> Guys. I'll look over to answer. You you want you, you, you want go? one? <laughs> Are we sure Rusty won't we take this time? Yeah, yeah. Matt's in the background like get him. Get him. <laughs> I I am good. Just just please don't hurt me. <laughs> just please don't hurt wow. me. Uh okay. Um, so Older that does that does now bring us back to the question that we were talking about earlier, right? You know that scenario of uh, what is the next step forward? Are you guys short resting? Are you long resting? Are you getting the hell out of dodge? What's the plan? Um, it probably would be a good idea to go ahead and return to Vadra and let her know what what transpired. Well, we did have multiple quests. Oh, that's a skull part one, skull part this, one. Yeah, this is the only one to turn in right now. Seems like a waste. We've only been like... Yo, was that throne we just saw? An alabaster throne of the last coronal? No, I don't think it was. <laughs> I don't know. I looked at it. Did it look uh, alabaster? Nah, it was bone. Did you miss that part? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was bone. It wasn't. Wouldn't. I mean, it was white. I guess technically. Yeah. I don't think that was it. I don't know, but I don't think that was it. I don't know. A bone throne is alabaster. Okay. Well, I'm sure, sure Volo sure. is. When up Volo, there. when Volo him. described it to you, he didn't describe it to you as an alabaster colored throne. He described okay. it to you as an, an alabaster. Yeah, alabaster. actually made from alabaster. Okay. Is that a rock? What is that? Yeah, so it's a, a face palm yeah, right it's a, now. it's a soft white rock. Mm. Like a like softer than marble or or that type of stuff. That scenario. All right, so you guys want to go back up top? Well, we've been like like four rooms. I mean, we can keep I'm, going. I mean, I'd she... like to keep going. I'm just Vodra, getting started. Vodra can wait. Let me see. Matt just rolling his shoulders. Uh, stretching. So? We can just do a quick short rest. Maybe like, I don't know, explore a little further. We still got like half a day to go, yeah? And those were our last words. I gotta tell you, I'm not, I, I don't yep. like the idea of going back up too soon. Because. They're gonna laugh at us? They're gonna, they're gonna laugh at us. No, not as much at. as if we don't come back. Hmm, I, don't I don't think they'll laugh too much. Wow. I think they'll just we be won't sad. know because we're, we're dead. So, what's your short plan? rest? Short I rest. Okay, short where rest. would you guys like to post up to short rest? Okay, all right, right all right. here. I got this. Right here in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, we just hang up in this dude's room. And and in the hallway, I will set up uh, my uh, hunter's trap. Okay. In Way the hallway in between the two doors? Yeah, like... I would like, like to take this sure, man's body yeah. out over with the other ones. Okay, gotcha. So if, if anybody comes in, they're gonna get... They're gonna get... They're gonna get clamped. Gotcha, gotcha. They're gonna get clamped. 
clean. I'll, I'll I'll take one of the cloaks as well from one of the dead dudes and just throw it over the trap to obscure it. Gotcha. Okay. Are these traditional doors? Uh, yeah. They these open. They don't slide. In or out. <laughs> these open. Uh, well, so so sorry. I meant like they they <laughs> they arc right. Uh, they open. <laughs> both of these open to the north. Um, to the northwest, so they would that swing inside like this. The room. Okay. Yeah. Unlike the non-opening doors, also known as walls, they <laughs> they swing or arc instead of slide. <laughs> uh, ashes, Ezra, move yourselves, please. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then if we are good to take a short rest, I'm going to start rolling hit dice. Yep, sounds good. Um, as you guys take a short rest, I need someone to roll me a 1d12. I'll do it! Okay. Oh, that's 1d12. Seven! Okay. Sounds good. Not Super great. Ten. There's just this wall of fucking hit dice going like, damn. Man. Yeah. I rolled very oh. poorly. I am out of hit dice. I am also out of hit dice. I am also out of hit dice. Uh, for you are out of hit dice, Ezra, but you're full health. So. Yeah. I'll roll the last one. Fuck it. Plus ten more. I'm at full HP. I'm, I'm nice. Over half. I'm also guess. out of hit dice. You're, are you? Are you out of hit dice? Is everyone out of hit dice now? Yes. Oh, holy shit! All right. Does anyone want to consume any potions during their downtime? I'm at full yeah. HP. I, I'm missing 4 HP. I'll be fine. I I'm, am missing a lot. I'm looking at that. someone specifically. After that punch, they're kind of a little low. All right. I, uh, I'm drink I uncork one of my health potions and I hold it out to him. Oh, oh yeah? He says, I, I, I will drink it. Punch! Okay, punch! 2d4 plus 2. I made a Oh, macro. you made a macro? Nice. Okay, so because I know eight, we're gonna be doing this for a eight bit. almost almost replenishes the nine damage that you took from a fist to the face. Did you take my potion? Yeah, yes. I, I took okay. yours and then I will I will drink I'll take one of your own. <laughs> one of my own. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okie dokie then. Up to forty one for you. Very nice. Okay, so you guys, uh, you guys take the time. Uh, you close both the doors, right? Lay your That's hunter magic. traps out, um, and begin to bandage wounds. Chat over the next hour. Take a breather, rest, right? Um. So we have been down here how long, Jeremy? At, at this, this point, rest? after the short rest, you've been down here for about six and a half hours. So I got about an hour and a half left on Mage Armor. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Um, okay, so uh, the rest goes by without any any issue. You hear nothing in the darkness as you listen. Nothing comes calling. No secret doors open. The dungeon continues on around. What would you like to do? Collect my trap. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's... You You grab it on your way out. No big deal. Put it back in your pack. Unset it, right? Put it back in your pack. Very carefully. <laughs> Just throw your arm in there. Stomp on it. It's all, it's all yeah. okay. <laughs> Stomp on this it. is how I was taught. King! <laughs> Turn it turn into a werewolf first. It'll only do half damage. Um, I head over um, to this door, down okay. by near. So, me. uh, let's go ahead and jump. We're gonna go back into exploration, right? Uh, everyone select their tokens. Roll initiative for me, right? And we can reorder the initiative if we want, but I just just oh, roll. Oh man, I'm so yeah. Roll initiative to put you guys on the tracker. So uh, let's let's try this because we had a couple uh, uh, kinks to work out last time. Go ahead and organize yourselves right how you want to be right now, right? Form up however you want to be, and then let's organize how you guys would like the order you guys would like to operate in. 
okay? So, is Bones going to be your scouting forward person? Is that the plan? Do we want Bones at the top? <clears throat> I, I think we just want to check some rooms, like, around right now. Uh, hey, yeah, I'll, I, I, I get I that. I want to try something real quick. Can I, can I try something? He wants to know what order we're moving in. Yes. Oh. What's up? What's up, Jay? Uh... I would like to uh, reach into my pack and pull out my uh, my uh, sledgehammer, like a legitimate sledge. Okay. I want to offer it to whoever has the highest strength modifier that's not me. Not me. Uh, I reach into my bag and pull out my own sledgehammer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I want to put the, I want to lay the, the cursed sword on the ground and I want I want him to try to break the blade to see if breaking the weapon would break the curse. I don't think that it works that way. I don't mean we're gonna try. I mean, very okay, low expectations. I want to use your sledgehammer in case it breaks mine. I okay. put mine back in my bag. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. So uh, we take this moment, right? Uh, Attached to roll me an athletics check. Okay. <laughs> See if it shatters the sledgehammer, because that's what oh, the only thing this check is. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that with uh, advantage, but yeah, I'll run and I jump. And I'm like, ah! 18. There is this. <laughs> as the metal bends slightly and is now bowed. You have a fucked up sword? Perfect. It's now minus one. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Unfortunately, not enough to shatter the blade. Mm. Enough to mar it, enough to bend it, but not enough to shatter mm. it. All right, worth a try. I'll put up my sledgehammer. Okay. You don't want him to hit it again? I mean, I don't we can spend it. our entire session just wailing on a wailing sword. on this I mean, sword. I would like to see sword. if we could eventually break it, but I think for the sake of content not being super lame <laughs> not will not pursue hey you, you do not pursue lubu the cursed sword i don't know um okay so back to that whole order thing what order you guys okay. want to move in i mean i i'm i'm probably the most tanky so if we run head first into something but I am not the most sneaky. Do we want to be sneaky or tanky in front? Do you want to be sneaky and checking for traps and shit like that? Or do you want to be, like, put the meat shield Can up front? Can Bones and I typically what? move together? So if you guys are right next to each other in the initiative order, yeah. I mean, technically, you guys can, yeah, again, not. right? This is a, this is a aid I'm to alleviate things I'm very confused by the, who's going to go first. Why do we have the initiative order then? Well, know. so, so... Uh, the initiative order is to keep things moving along. Like, if I... And I've found this with you guys repeatedly. If I don't say, hey, it's your turn. What are you doing? Hey, it's your turn. What are you doing? Then you guys... One person, like, moves 15 times, and then two people move twice, and then another person moves once. Right? So this is just to keep things progressing. So that being said, what order do you guys want to progress in? Who's your I'm marching, gonna go marching order? Man? Right now. I'm going to go first right now. You're first. I'm who's, going to walk up, up to this next? door. I would like to inspect uh, the door. Who is up next? I'm just trying to get a marching order right now. Bones I is am. next. Okay, Bones is next. Who's I up next? Then I will go after Bones. Okay. And then Ezra, and you're, you're fine last. The door. Okay, fantastic. Wonderful. Awesome. These numbers are literally irrelevant. I'm just trying to get you guys in an order. Okay, fantastic. Um, okay, so Matashtai and Bones, you guys move over to the door, and what are you doing? Um, Bones, you're not at the uh, door. I'm kind of look around it a little quick. Any traps? Uh, roll uh, perception. Bones, you're not at the door. Yeah, I'm not. I'm over here. I thought you were going to the door with Matashtai. Okay. I mean, you can do what you want, but that's why I'm asking, right? I roll a 23 on perception. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the door with Matashtai waiting for the trap to go off. For the trap to go off. I will not allow it to trap. 
Uh, you check the door, right? You're cautious about it. Um, check the seams, check the handle. Uh, there, it doesn't appear to be trapped, and it's not locked. And, and you said it's what? It's, it's not, not locked. locked. Okay. Um, cool. I'm, uh... You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Alright. Open it the door and push it forward with my spear. Uh, it lets I step out in? into a room. Um, this modest room looks to have been turned into a makeshift barracks. There are eight bedrolls spread out on the floor. Uh, two battered and rusty oil lanterns also on the floor dimly light the chamber. Oh, also, by the way, I've turned off my bullseye lantern. Okay. Oh, I, 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 think I, I, I think I left the torch somewhere. You, I think you deleted it actually, because it's gone. Oh, it's not. I thought it was over in here. Nope, it's gone. Oh, okay, well, it's gone. So, so yeah, I, I assumed that. All right. All right. Um, then I continue to move forward as long as the rest of the party keeps up. Sure. Yeah. Um, and you I'm see going a to second the door. door. Yep, you see a second door to the northwest. Is that the poop room? What do you I'm want to going do? to uh, open the door. Okay. Open the door. Needs to roll a dexterity saving throw. And do not. Um, but as I was you open... say, because like I said, I want to look at the door, and then I don't think you heard me. I was like, "Fuck! I'm gonna open the door." <laughs> as you uh, as you open the door, you do you get a whiff. Of uh, of a strong odorous stench. Hmm. Like poop. Yeah, it it smells like a, a latrine. But... Shit. All right. Um, I hold my breath and I just kind of like scoot forward real quick just to make sure. Do 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 do. Scoot forward. The hall continues and wraps further south. I just let him go. I'm not going down the poop room. Okay. Still holding my breath. Short. Sure. Keep going. Wraps further north. Um, uh, and oh, yeah, yeah, as you room. as no, you round no. the corner right up here in the north, there are basically like multiple buckets with flies buzzing around them uh, and uh, just a horrendous stench. Yep, there's poop back there. Right. Ash just goes to investigate as well. I'm coming with. Okay. Uh, well, he, like, as soon as Matashtai sees this, he just turns around and books back. Um, um, then, if we have completed searching this area, I look to the group and I say, um, well, should we uh, check that room above the other one that we were near? Uh, yes, we absolutely should. You mean to the, to the west? The east? West? East? North? North? East. You're talking about. He's talking about all the way north where you left, where you fought Haria. Oh, I'm talking about like the one directly off of the main hall. We could do that. We haven't fully explored this way yet, though. Yeah, I mean, there, there's like still the spiders. Yeah, yeah but what is this room directly off of this main room we're using? Is uh, I'm moving in here. Yeah, sure, move. We got to come out of here anyway. <laughs> Yeah. So you guys come back into the hall with Look, the corpses and the, point. the this room pillars. right here. What's it? Uh, bones. Like, As you come into this room, you Damn, see, a... you see, multiple mm -hmm. of these corpses have been mm -hmm. gnawed upon. Oh, that's concerning. Gnawed upon. Yeah. It, recently, or was that always like that? Uh, these are the corpses that you guys killed. Do they always look not upon. Do they always look Wait. not upon? No. Like, so this this would have occurred within the last hour. Wasn't me. That's just wasn't me, yo. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, wow. This is what I'd like to do. I'd like to hop on over there and I'd look at Ashes and I say, "Cover me." And okay. I I I want to look at the corpses, right? I want to see if I can identify. The gnawing, the tooth marks, the uh, gnawing marks. Um, is it rats? Roll is a, it fucking something crazy? I don't know. Roll a I nature like check. Know. 
I'm gonna strap my spear to my back and pull up my longbow again. Sure. Mm-hmm. Nature! Uh, 15. So with 15, um, it's definitely not rats. It's too large to be rats. Um, they, it doesn't look, it doesn't look canine. It doesn't look feline, right? It doesn't look like most of your natural wild, like beasts, right? <laughs> um, the jaws are oddly shaped. They're smaller, right? Like a, a kind of like a dog's, but they don't seem to open as wide, right? Um, but the teeth, whatever the teeth were, um, protruded at an odd angle to where it kind of like, instead of biting and ripping, it kind of burrows. It kind of like stabs and burrows into the flesh before pulling back out. Um, you're not familiar with a creature that never makes heard of them like that in my this life. kind of barking, but they're, they're, there's a lot over some of the bodies. Mm. Um, there are portions miss- missing from the body. Okay, well, mm, I don't like that. I'll actually, uh, I'll actually grab Bones by the wrist if he's still like looking into it, pull him away, uh, and infer that it's the brain lamprey things, and we don't want to be around them. Brain lamprey thing. Yeah, yeah, the thing that made. Not... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I poke one of them. Oh, in the face Matt, my... Matt, you gain another intelligence back, by the way, so you mm-hmm. should be up to six. Yep. So okay. Smart now. These dudes are dead <laughs> as fuck. I, I I poke one in the face with my spear. My I mean my double bladed scimitar. Uh, if I see anything pop out, I'm gonna push push bones out of the way. There's uh, the I mean there's a sickening kind of like as you crunch? stab it right. Um, you yeah, stop you know, crunch through. Assaulting the bodies doesn't do anything. Look, this, we're on brain lookout. We already killed them. We don't need to maim their corpses. Bones, where you're at, right? Um, you can see to the southeast there is a little hall right down here okay. that uh, curves around to the south further. I sure can see that, yeah. Also, Ashes, did you pick up the uh, broken white staff or is that still on the I ground next uh, to I the goblinoid? I, I think that Ashes is done picking up things. Okay, for sure. Now. I, I I I will point it out to Ezra. Be like, you're a magicy dude, right? That is that magicy? Is that magic stuff? Is that magicy? I, 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 I mean, we could get it in in uh, uh, identified, but uh, you can yeah, perform. If you, if you, wanna... you can try to perform a an Arcana check in order to check if things have magic in them, right? Kind of like that uh, attunement questing type thing, if that's something that oh, you want to do. I thought you said we weren't doing that. Anymore. Well, you... Another way to test it's it. It's not an auto, right? Like, in most of the other games, I'm like, oh, you can tell it's magic. Period. But this this means you have to be trained in Arcana, and you have to pass a te- check to see if you can sense the magic. Basically, is, is how that works. But that's a that's an up to you thing, right? Because that comes with risks. I would like to do that if that that is an ability. I was under the impression that was not an ability. So. Yes, yeah, yeah. You can definitely do that, but you have to be touching the object, right? You have to mm-hmm. pass a check. It's not an automatic thing. So, so you'll I, I you'll would, inspect would, the the way we could check it. And I take out my spear, right. slam down on it. Does it break? Yeah. Uh, so you take this broken, like, snapped in two white wooden already, staff, it's right? It's already in the ground. Yeah, no, I, I take my spear and just, like, try to and you cut it. Whoosh, and now it is one long portion of a white wooden staff and two smaller portions of a white wooden staff. <laughs> I don't think it's magical. It's not magical. Why couldn't you do that to the sword? You didn't give us a chance. You just haven't made that available. Okay, anyway, so can we check Ezra, out this were you wanting to, to do anything with it? Do you still want to, even after that? Okay. I'll, I'll uh, pick up the bigger piece and quest. Roll me an arcana check. Roll me I a mean, constitution check. Vi- vi- violence doesn't That's dictate not... magic in my mind. But, you know, I know nothing. <laughs> but, but I know nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, uh, yeah. 
You don't really sense any magic from it. Um, okay. Good job, Matt. It's possible that Matashtai was correct. Yeah. Check out the room! Ooh. Okay, so you come over to this doorway. Um, also, people try to make sure that you are positioning yourselves in such a manner that reflects what you are doing. Hey, Where was actually, the staff? I am standing uh, at the ten middle feet. one or middle the middle floor. statue. Yep, middle statue. Okay. Why 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 did the lower hallway catch my eye, by the way? Uh just because you wanted to call my attention to it? Because there was nothing else really in the room that I had not already previously described. I don't think I really oh. described previously that there was this other hallway arcing to the south that you okay. guys had noticed. Okay. I place my spear back on my back. I mean, that's the hallway the where uh, what's his what's what's his butts went? No, they all went out here to the south. Okay. Um, okay, so Bones, you're checking the door. Yes, or, checking the door. Okay, roll me a perception check. I'm perceiving. Or or at any time, right? If you want to default, you can just default. Just tell me that you're no. defaulting. Nineteen. Okay. Sure. Um, so the, this door does have a little, like, latch on it, right? But this seems to be the inside of the door. So, like, you would latch it to lock it on the other side, right? You could lock somebody out? Okay. So currently it is unlocked. Um, and you can just pull it open. You don't notice anything as far as traps or, or problems or anything like that. All right, I'll pull it open then. Fuck it. Pull this door open. And you see a hallway continuing to the east. And then again, that hallway from where you're at, you can see it kind of turns south. Hmm. I'm with you. All right. I'll just look. I'm just I'm gonna take a quick peek. I'll just I'll dash down. I'll dash back. Right. OK. Is everybody good with that? Quick, sure. quick, quick peek. All right. Uh, what so do bones, do you do the do you do the whole like set sprint? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, so you rush down this hallway, uh, right? As you around. yeah, as you get down here, you can see it continues south for a while. Go cuts west a little ways, continues south further. Um, so it looks like there there might be this big loop that it performs. All right, I just come back. Yeah, it's just a loop. Yeah. Uh, you the, did, yeah, you did see, right? You did see while you were down here. There is a door down here. I did see that. Okay. Yeah. Well. Let, let me. I'm gonna reposition you. So you were right here. Right here yeah. is this door. You can just barely make it out from your position. Okay. Well, probably goes back to the other way. Whatever. I come back. Oh, you come back to the room. Yeah. I was going to come around, but I'm afraid of getting shot by a bow. Gotcha. Okay, so so Bones is only away for a few moments, right, before he comes prowling back up the hall, the east, and describes this situation to you guys. Yeah, it's just a hallway. It just loops, it loops back to the main corridor. Yeah. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, good scouting. That key that you got earlier that you totally showed me during our short rest. I sure did. Yeah, it's got this neat dwarf head on it. <laughs> uh, did any of the uh, statues in the main hallway of all those demons seem to have any kind of keyhole whatsoever? Are I know asking... there was one being pointed at. Are you asking me or are you asking your allies? I'm asking, I'm, I'm asking the party, I guess, if anybody noticed anything like that. I didn't notice that. But I, I mean, I remember I there were peepholes, but, but that was about it. Them. Yeah, I remember the peepholes. Yeah, I don't recall nothing. But we really weren't looking for it either, so. It's, it's true. We definitely were not. Okay. So, what's your plan now? Check the other little hallway. Also, lock this one. Lock. Okay, so you, you actually, like, take the time to close this door now. Uh, and latch and lock it. 
That's right, secure okay. it. So you head, head down to the other hallway if that's where you want to investigate next. To the other hallway! I'm pretty sure I know where this is going, but... Okay. So, I... as you actually round and look into this hallway, actually getting close enough to it, um, you see there is a large stack of ceramic plates balanced against the hall or against the wall at the back of this hall. Uh, they seem ready to just like topple over at the slightest provocation. Okay. Is there a door behind them? That's weird. I promise. There's you. a wall behind them. Weird. Oh shit, there was a door in the hallway. I thought it came in here. It definitely doesn't. Maybe doesn't. Unsure. Are they cool ceramic plates? No, they're kind or of do just they look cheap. like they're kind of just cheap um ceramic plates. They just look like they just don't really want to do dishes, so they just been putting it over here. No, no, they're all wow. they're I mean, they're dusty. <laughs> they're dusty, but they're clean. I mean, they're they're not they're not stained with food or refuse or anything like that. Um, they seem to have been Someone intentionally... Someone just likes shitty plates? They seem to have been intentionally stacked here. All right. But they're they're very precariously perched. These vampires are real weird. You think somebody wanted it made? Who does this? Why? What's the point? What if there's something behind here? While they're talking, can I come in and try and ascertain the purpose or intent sure come in here uh so so ezra comes like you guys are sitting here like observing this like talking to each other like what the hell is going on with this ezra comes like um interested intrigued ezra comes inspecting comes suspecting um and ezra as you're in here roll me an investigation check because this is the type of shit that investigations for <laughs> Uh, so you, you surmise, right? And you have, you know, have no visible proof of this necessarily, right? Um, but the way they're stacked, they're kind of leaned against this back wall, almost as if that wall itself is false. And if someone were to try to open it from the other side, all of these plates would fall and shatter. Kind of like a homemade alarming alarm Alarming people system. to their presence. I, hmm. I turn to Bones and I, 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 I think it's meant to be a, uh, a, 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 a sounding situation. So, so if someone pushes on that wall, it, maybe it's a, it's a false wall. I, I, I don't know. I, it, but oh yeah, hey, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a door like almost exactly on the other side of this. <laughs> hey, that's that's a coincidence. <laughs> Mitch, you're muted. I run up and I kick the wall. Does it open? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you have to kind of go charging halfway through plates to do so, right? But yeah, sure as shit, like like Matashta just like kicks through this wall. <laughs> There's this huge shatter and clatter of uh, of plates and pour or ceramic plates just <laughs> smashed to a thousand tiny bits. The the wall like the, plates. the wall <laughs> how half like curves open like it is a false like spin like a turntable wall mm -hmm. right um and you see a door on the other side and Matashta just like crumples in this mass of like half broken wall half ceramic plates um i crawl myself out of the wall and the plates and i just kind of poke my head back out into the hall and I'm like you were right i need someone to roll me a d12 <laughs> <laughs> You get to do it, Mitch, because you're the... <laughs> 1d12. <laughs> a two! A two! Oh, a few moments pass, a few moments pass, and nothing seems to have responded to the loud ruckus you have made. <laughs> well, well, we're, we're not so quiet anymore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! But mystery solved, guys. Congratulations. I, 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 Matt, I, I I thought we were trying to to not draw uh, attention to ourselves. I was putting was theory into action. <laughs> I, 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 action! I, 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 I'm an action man. 
Action. Action man. Okay, so yeah, the uh, what, what what are we we thinking? The upper room, right? The uh, what was it? Dogs or some shit? Medusas? Spiders? It was spiders. Medusas? I'm out. How how does your mind Medusas. work? Holy crap! It's I dogs. Connect. No, it's Medusas. No, it's what what? Where is the connect? Spider. <laughs> I okay. I connect lines, right? So dogs are like they're kind of monstrous. They could roam free. Don't even don't even try right now. Then we got more don't monstrous into Medusa. I'm just telling you the the links that Do I made. Do not tell me that you a Medusa is less links. monstrous than a spider. Okay, whatever. I don't know why you would want to doubt this. Because <laughs> it's you. <laughs> like what what do I have to gain from lying? Face. Hilarious stories. Hilarious stories. Okay, so uh, is that your pl next destination? You guys are heading back to the yeah. north. Yeah. We yes. go head north. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Super sneaky. Before we leave, I want to lock this bottom door. Okay. This bottom door right here okay so you close it and lock it you yes. realize that there, there's a a hole in in the wall yeah but there's like a bunch of plates <laughs> there are a bunch of plates so now now two of the three doors leading back to the to the main hall right are locked um, and the third is guarded by a series of ceramic plates, so you might call you them know. constructs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys decide to head back to the north. Uh, go ahead and start moving yourselves up in that direction. Rise, my glass golem. Ooh, that would be pretty dope. Glass golem that would, would be, sweet. be cool. Actually, except it explodes when it touches anything. Attack oh, with yeah. fragile fist. Fragile fist. Oh, no. It does like 1d4 damage, but then the enemy is now bleeding. Yeah, yeah sure. Like it shatters a little bit. It crumples. Yeah. Or maybe, it does, may, maybe it's it like a, to maybe it's like a combo elemental, right? It's like a, a ooze elemental, but it's rolled in glass shards. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> it is a little terrifying. Uh, Ashes. As that you were walking really down this long hall, wow. Ashes, I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Holy shit balls, you guys move fast. I just moved. I can't do anything. Okay. Ooh, that's a big save. Ashes, you uh you are walking down this hall and you're having this conversation, right? About uh about ceramic golems and glass and, and stuff. Right, mm -hmm. um, and then your your vision gets a little hazy, um, and you kind of see spots floating in your eyes for a second. You blink, and for a moment, you feel like you see a dark figure up to the north at the end of this hall. Right, um, like you blink, and then there's the shadowy figure there, and then you blink again, and it's gone. And you look to the you look to the left, you look to the right, kind of like shaking your head slightly, and the wall next to Matashtai is bleeding. Just blood pouring down the side of the wall. Yo, you ever play Eternal Darkness? Mm -mm. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I kind of push around Matt, just, just not, not aggressively whoa, or anything. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I'm I want to smell the blood. Does it, does it smell like blood? Uh, Matasha, you, like, Ashes pushes past you and is now sniffing the wall. I get up next to the wall and start sniffing, too. Uh, what uh, guys, what, do, do what, is, what are you doing? And by the way, if that... If that was a failure, what the fuck was that? Or but, maybe that was a success. You smell oh, wow. nothing untowards ashes, and then Ezra kind of like asks, guys, guys, what, what are you doing? No idea. He's sniffing the wall. I'm just uh, waiting. False alarm. What was the alarm? That was your alarm? 
Uh, it's the the. I thought I saw something, and I, I was clearly wrong. I'm sorry to alarm you. You're you're, you're not going to attack us again, are you? No, I'm not. I step going away to so Ezra is now. Yeah, Ezra's now the closest Ezra, Ezra immediately takes a step back. <laughs> so in distrust. I, 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 hit, I hit, uh, Ezra with my bent ass cursed sword. Yeah, that is. Ash is, is it always on. It's gonna look so fucking dumb now. It is literally <laughs> like it's this, and it's just like, oh. meh. Oh. Just slightly bowed. Like the tip is just like edged meh. scimitar. Yeah. <laughs> You, hey, what's the deal with this people? weird, like, dead end hallway? I don't know. Let's check it out. Yeah, checking it out. It's weird. Okay. If, I mean, if, check it out. If you're checking it out, tell me how you're checking it out so I can tell you what to roll. I'm low key. I start for tapping a... the wall with my spear. Ooh, nice. For hollowness. Cool. Dope. Roll me perception check. I'm I'm, I'm assisting him. Okay, roll it with advantage. Okay. Ezra is going to stay 10 feet away from Ashes. Okay. 17. If I'm not a... I don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that he's not a werewolf? Com 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 I, will have Com explained I don't the know that, that this... that's the only time he loses control. Well, true. Sounds like the haft of your spear hitting stone. You know? Hidden stone, you said? You cut out. It sounds like the haft of your spear hitting stone. Alright. Well, huh. I don't see anything, Bones. Weird. This is the weirdest place. Just come down. Yeah, Maybe I'm it's meant to, to confuse and distract. I, I was distracted. This is the dungeon of the mad mage, not the dungeon of the we designed things to be very symmetrical mage. <laughs> the dungeon of the professional city planner. Mage. Yeah, definitely not that. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, okay, so you guys uh, uh, distracted for a moment, right? You you write yourselves ashes, you know, just is a little odd for a moment, but then... Before going down the hallway, I, I cast one more glance down the hallway to see if I see any kind of figures. Uh, you see... Ghost brushes you. You see a dark figure um, kind of like step through the wall. Man, you straight up fucking losing. I whip out my, cro my crossbow, my hand crossbow real quick and shoot at it. You all hear this sound of Ching! of a metal bolt ricocheting off of stone wall. Uh, I, I I was kidding about attacking me. <laughs> well, I mean, I obviously wasn't. I go kidding. battle ready instantly. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I go rushing. What's happening? Where are they? Where's the enemy? Behind me? Behind me? <laughs> Sorry. You better be careful. <laughs> you better be careful. Oh, that's a good I'm game. assuming the ghost thing that you're seeing was up here. Hmm. It's actually back behind you guys a little bit. Oh, down see, that's why I thought I thought he no, was like kind down, of down here ish in my general direction. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not. He, he kind of like snapped his head back and then poof, raised his crossbow and fired off a shot real quick. And I did not see anything. I'll go get my. I'll go collect my bolt real quick and put it back in my bow and stow it again. Okay. Just go fucking and... exploded it against stone. What do you do with that bolt head? Oh, did it explode? Did, I, uh, did, the, bolt, did the bolt consume? Roll me a 1d2. A 1d2? Yeah. Roll. You can do a 1d20 1D if you want them said, but... Nope. You, you recollect it. It's uh, a little... Man. It's slightly, like, marred at the tip, but... It was, a, it was an angle, so it kind of, like, ricocheted off instead of just deadening uh, into the side. I'll, I'll uh, draw it, put a bolt in there, hand it to my tail, and my tail will pull it behind the cloak. Nice. That prehensile Pre tail. Prehensilely 
<laughs> Grab your okay. crossbow. Okay, Ashes, Ezra, go ahead and move your move yourselves to catch yeah, back yeah. up. I'm staying ten feet away from Ashes. Ashes <laughs> hasn't moved yet. <laughs> sure, fine. Uh, okay, so we are back in the room of the battle with Haria and her coterie. And as soon as you come in here, right, you notice uh, Anastas and the unconscious uh, coterie members are gone. Oh, come on. Damn. Where did they go? No, we, we expected that. Yeah, but how did they get past us? They said that was the only we way out. We took a short rest. That makes sense. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That definitely happens. Okay. So, um, you, you guys... A few hours. You said I was going to need a few hours for them to wake up. Did you guys ever actually... You explored the, uh, the room where the Coterie members were staying, right? Yes, two of us went to her room and two went to the other room, I think. So you you know well I you said that right I didn't even go in there but, but I, checking yeah no do? checking checking y'all's y'all's site none of you actually moved in there so, all right I go in there like you guys don't have any vision of the place and the the only reason I bring it up is because I do think we I do think we vocally looked into it right but I think uh, you guys didn't actually go in there so there is a door here to the north and then there is a door here to the north. Is that another poop room? I just wanted been... to to let you guys know what your options were. Oh, I smell at this door. Is it a poop room? Um, make a perception check. Man, we are big into smells in this party. I'll go He's ahead and a... take my. He's a... I'll take you the. Have a, literally. Okay. A cat. Um, you do not smell. Uh, you don't smell defecation. You don't smell that kind of rank stench, but you do smell the stench of decay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I call everybody in here. Okay. I approach. There's something a little off, guys. <laughs> Matt, you look back, right? Like you're 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 the one to close the distance with bones the fastest. But as you're looking back, right, you see ashes kind of like walking after you, and you see Ezra visibly like ten feet behind ashes, like waiting for ashes to move. Every time ashes stops, Ezra stops. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, um, um, and just um, for that's not. Uh, I, I promise that that's not a thing that happens while I'm like this. That's only a thing when I'm, you know, rawr. As a brief get, reminder, can you get turned into it? Like, do you rage no. out? No. Uh, I mean, if I'm emotionally compromised, that might be a thing. Um, so just as a reminder of what's uh, in this room is there is a long stone table, right? Um, where the, the coterie would probably play card games. There are actual cards strewn about the table. Um, and then there are a couple of backpacks and costumes and things like that, um, in the corners of the room that you guys kind of sifted through, but weren't interested. I check under the table. Um, you find uh, immediately at at the long the the left um, end of the table, there's a little uh, sleeve, a little like leather sleeve, kind of like tacked up to the underside of the table, and it's got three aces in it. <laughs> These guys are cheaters. <laughs> That's funny, guys. <laughs> you also find some bugs. <laughs> You find bugs? Bugs. bugs. Like boogers. Oh, bugs. bugs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they had to tack it up there with something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Um, I want to uh, open the door. Okay. You move to open the door. The Cautiously. The door we came through, did it lock on the other side or this side? Uh, this door is not locked. No, this one. No, he's asking if the the door we came through does it have a lock on it. If so, which side? Uh, it does not have a lock either. Okay. 
neither of the doors to the two rooms that you're or to the room that you are in um have locks on them okay um so you go to open this door and as soon as you do right like you you crack it um and that oh, that, shit. that stench of decay just kind of like oh, oh yeah there's something Smelly. there's something dead and rotting um close nearby definitely or oh. undead um what do you want to do you you also see right immediately as you open the door you see a couple of little uh columns pillars right uh in the center of a large hall rising up and you can see a room further off in the distance to the north hmm Smelly room or a room that definitely has spiders? <laughs> Which ones do you want? Are, are they one in the same? I pull out a handkerchief and Un it across my face. Yeah, it's okay. Sure. Uh, we, and I say, we, we are here. It's, got a, <laughs> it's a red handkerchief with a with a rebel flag on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> full, full southern mode. Right. Uh, uh, it's the so only... Ezra, yeah, yes. Do you want to go in here, or do you want to go to the room that definitely has spiders? <laughs> That's exactly how I pose it. I think we should check out this room. I mean, we're here. All right, I pull my uh, headband down around my neck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like so, as as you Perfect. would, as you would. Oh man, the goat looks really cool now. <laughs> it does. It does actually. Hey, okay. Oh, <laughs> and and what do you do? I go in. Okay, so step yourself forward. I fall and I will describe to you sideways, ready to go. Sure, 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 sure. One, okay. two. Oh, it's one in the same. So I, you I step, yeah, and and Matt, put yourself right up behind him. You step forward, right, and as soon as you do, you see this hall, right, stretch out to the west, and then curve slightly down south and to the east and you see a massive hall disappear into the darkness with these columns these statues um heading off to the uh east there are they are life-sized granite statues of human warriors facing inward towards each other atop pedestals um, and the display, from what you could see, it would seem heroic if it weren't for the fact that the whole thing, all of the ones that you can see, are just draped and covered in spider webs. Hey, hey, hey Bones. Uh, uh, I whisper uh, back, we found the spiders. Uh, 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 hey, Bones, don't, don't, don't forget to look up. I look up. Uh, you see the ceiling How here? high is the ceiling? The ceiling is vaulted. It's about uh, 20 feet high here. That's like this whole tall. hall is about 20 feet high. Yeah. Okay. Um, that so... stench, that overwhelming, overpowering stench of decay is coming from the north. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to the east to deal with what we know is there. And that's what I would like to purvey. Okay. So I think at this point, right, we should probably probably should be acting in our our exploration initiative order. So Bones, I'm gonna say you're up first, right? Okay. So you're moving. Um, move as you would want to. So tell me, can you tell me where in this area the the real thickness of the web stars basically right once you get to the two statues there's a little oh, bit like of right webbing there. yeah there's a little bit of webbing coming into like this empty space but not enough to to pose any threat that you would surmise right but as soon as you get to these statues there's thick cobweb kind of draped all over them and crisscrossed throughout the hallway and this is like stone right this is not wood the statues uh -huh. The halls, the area. Oh, yeah, it's all stone. Like, everything is all stone. Mm -hmm. And the statues look... are granite. Okay, so as I start to move, I look back. Do, do we burn it? 
pull out a torch. Ezra, Ezra, move up! <laughs> I, uh, I light the torch on my lantern. Sure. And then... How about we burn it? I chuck the torch into the spider webs. Hell yeah. And it 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 ignites spider webs before it lands, right? Because it, it's sailing through the air and it gets here, right? And it starts to touch some of the smaller draped spider webs. And they're that they're that kind of like very fine um, mesh kind of like clumped amount. So it hits and it immediately does the whole just like ignites and races down the spider webs and the torch hits the area with the statues and some of these webs are going to be too thick to just burn immediately right they're they're not going to do the catch fire and race but it's all those sure. small fine filaments that are all clumped up that are like tender to a torch so this hits and for a brief moment a flash there is just <laughs> flame jetting down this tunnel um and it's it's hard to it's hard to guesstimate right but it's it's a hundred a hundred and fifty two hundred feet or more this Jesus. tunnel goes and it Jesus. just <laughs> ignites all the way down just <sighs> these trails of flame just <sighs> all the way down and about halfway down you see uh -oh. these hulking corpses of these giant spiders riddled with crossbow bolts just like illuminated like in a flash of thunder right dead still mo motionless their chitinous forms you know no longer moving oozing little patches of fluids right um and so you see this kind of like ignited like a lightning bolt uh but instead just this flame of cobwebs right and then almost almost immediately afterwards right it just burns away all of that all of that fuel gone in a flash and there are still some larger spider webs some still some cobwebs that were too thick to burn initially right but they're uh they're limited in space and size and they're easy enough to pick through like none of them are like oh gotcha you're trapped you know type type thing um that that type of scenario so you guys if you wanted to progress this direction you could now pick your way through the cobwebs safely okay so After, i just want to throw it clear. were those Sorry. undead spiders did they react in any way shape or form they did not move in any way shape form or fashion okay as the uh, flames so some of the flames forward. literally like okay. raced over their bodies okay got it and matt no... just looks over at bones he goes magic <laughs> <laughs> okay so that actually so that happened right what do but we we had been like okay we're gonna drop into initiative order but but then you guys did that which is fine do we wanna do are we are we back into the solid we're gonna take it inch by inch or are you guys more relaxed and want to just move the party together now what's what's the plan what's what's the next plan what direction I do you guess want I would to go? Say. We want to go northwest or east? Yeah. East. East. I, mean, I kind of want to check east. out east. Undead spiders. And just because I don't like to have the idea of something being behind us as we're progressing either of the other directions. Should we go poke them? Yes. Okay. All right. We're gonna head I down the east tunnel as a group. I think in yeah, I think in this situation let's let's use let's use the initiative. Um and if that's the case, bones go ahead and move how you want to move. Two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay. You did two, see three, as you were going east that that uh area to the north, both you and Matashtai saw uh that area to the north kind of dead ends and then wraps to the west. Um, Ashes, My, Ezra, go ahead and bring yourself are. up. Jacob yeah. is not is he, there. Is he not there? That's okay. You getting some food? Do you have food? I want food. Bam, bam. Okay. 
So Hi. you are close enough now, because uh, as the as the flames died down, you were too far away to actually see the spiders themselves. But now you're close enough to see the first of the corpses. Um, and it is, uh, as I said, it's riddled with crossbow bolts, right? Um, and you see the statues as you come close to them. Um, you see they they have nameplates, but all of the nameplates that you can see that you're close to um, have been horribly marred, and most of the faces of these statues have been chipped away. God damn. Hmm. It's, a, it's a shame what they do to art. There's some real human haters down here. Mm -hmm. Um, back to the top, because I'm assuming everyone has moved how they would like to move. If you guys want to keep progressing kind of on this conga line down, we can. Um, mm -hmm. let me know when you want to do something, or I'll let you know when something happens. Okay. Or are we yeah, just wanna, moving down? We just want to head on down until there's anything suspicious. Sure, sure. Oh, oh, suspicion. There's suspicion. Okay, so you see, see, uh, you see another, see you need, you see more of those spider corpses, and then you see a hall to the I like south. To not be inside of this spider. Okay, and then um, I'm making a point to constantly be looking up. Okay. Because of suggestion. Well, that's that's your passive perception of eighteen at work there. Mm -hmm. So bones, um, where you're at, you can now see there's this hallway heading to the south, and there is a door here to the north. Hmm. And you, you've you now come close enough to the spider corpses that you saw initially. Um, mm -hmm. they, uh, they do not appear to be undead spiders. They are not uh, rising from their shallow graves to attack you. Hmm. Something's off. I'm... Why do the nasty tell us there are spiders up here? Maybe maybe someone came through here after they experienced the spiders and quick cleared the path. Kind kind of like the 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 secret entrances or the uh, the the cabinets that were looted. It's not unreasonable to think that someone else was here. I don't know. They seem pretty spooked about this area. I, I mean, look at these spiders. They're kind of spooky. They're massive. They're huge. Well, you're not wrong. They're large. Four, five, six. Uh, I'd like to check the corpses to see if there's any kind of markings similar to the bandits that that had things burrowed in them. Ooh, good question. Uh, roll me a perception check as you kind of like uh, look about the bodies. And bones, you head down this southern hallway. Um, you see it dead ends, but there is a door here on the western end of it. Um, mm, ashes, you find nothing on the bodies to suggest that they have been uh, messed with in death. Hmm. Cool. Well, there were a bunch of spider webs in here before, so that could have dissuaded deterrent scavengers. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if this was previously spider territory. That's true. All right, so Ashes, you start heading down this hallway with Bones and join him. A Bones, you find yourself at the end of this hall uh, next to this door. Um... What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to be pretty cautious and check the door. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll or you want to use your passive? I'd like to roll. Have at it. I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. Ba 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 Should... Okay. Um, take a look at the seams, the the handle. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. I try, I jiggle it. Is it unlocked? Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. Unlocked. Jiggling. I open it. Jiggle, jiggle. You open it, 
Um, and beyond, you find... Um... A closet. You find a room filled with dust, seemingly undisturbed for ages. It has the air of a quiet, out-of-the-way place. Hmm. And it, it kind of instantly strikes you as a like a nice little place to rest if you ever needed to. Noted. I shut it back up. Close the door. Oh, did that door have a lock on the inside? I open it back up and I check. <laughs> yep, there's a lock on the inside. Yep, sure does. Did you check to see if there's maybe any false walls in there too? That, I open the door back up. <laughs> 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 okay uh you open the door back up i'm just loudly whispering this down this hallway <laughs> yeah right uh I, loudly enough that uh you don't realize the giant spider that has crept up behind you ezra oh i've got a nine perception i definitely don't notice that <laughs> no, no. Um, i open the door back up i check for the false walls and shit sure okay um what i gotta roll well, you would normally roll perception for something like that. All right, I'm perceiving. 25. Okay, wow. so you go feeling about, like, looking for um, grooves or lines or the passage of air or anything like that, um, and you find nothing. It's, uh, All right. it's just small. I come looking. back out. It's very up. dusty here. Does Bones have any, like, allergies to dust or anything like that? He does not. Okay. Because uh, that is that that's like the one downside to this room is it clearly hasn't been touched in ages, um, well, and it's now just cat has, it's literally cat like has a paced around it about fifty times. Yeah. So uh, open the I door, aired it out a little bit. I shut the door again. I said, nope, 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 no false anything. Nope, no just false looks anything. Like nice, just looks like a nice, looks like a room with okay. a lock on the inside, as if it's meant for us to be able to rest in. We we, we should note that location. <laughs> that could be. Beneficial. Is there ventilation in case we need to breathe? Well, There's you guys, not. you guys can literally note that location on the map if you would like. Right, Jay, well, who, that's your responsibility. <laughs> oh, that's Jay's general, responsibility. I see how it is. It's, the door is closed again. I can't see it. Yeah, he closed it again. I well, I can't again, fucking again. write a note on it. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, you can just do that. Because like it doesn't show as like an explored room anymore. Uh, where are you at? Under me. Oh, that's because I don't think you were actually were there, Matt, when it got opened. Here, let no, me open it for see, you. I can see inside it. Like, I can see it right now. Okay. I'll leave. And then if I close it... Yeah, it's black. Oh, weird. Uh, it, it, I got it. I can see it. Yeah. I, I'm... Weird. Either way, uh, safe room is care. on the map now. <laughs> okay, so you guys find yourself back out in that hall with the spiders. What do you want to do? Back out in the hall with the spiders. Giant spiders are creepy. They're back out in the hall with us. Um, I would like to move to the other door. Okay, so you start moving that direction. Matashtai is moving there as well. Um, Matt, as you kind of approach that other door, you see further east. This tunnel, this hall, just keeps going and going, and you see another door to the south. Christ's sake, this place is big. It's really, really big. Huge. Just a lot going on. All right, we do the same thing. We check the door quickly. We, uh... Have my bow ready. So all... The, going forward, heads up. All door checks are going to be perception. So if you want to roll, just roll it and tell me that's what you're doing. Or tell me that you want to use your passive. I'll be honest with you. I feel that my, um... I feel my passive is enough. So okay. I'm just going to... I'm just going to leave it as that. You check the door. Um, seams, hinges. Check around it for tripwires. Small arrow holes or anything like that. Find nothing. All right. Is it unlocked? Uh, it is unlocked. Okay. 
As part of my perception, can I tell whether it's locked and unlocked from now sure. on? I'll I'll bear that in mind. I would appreciate that. Uh -huh. All right. I open the door quietly. I don't I don't slam it open. I just open it. Uh, it's open. And as it opens, you find the room angles to the right, um, and it hides portions of itself from your sight. That's what I do. Huh. It's ominous. Fuck. That is ominous. Um, okay. I guess I will start sneaking. I'm going to sneak right in here. I'm going to wait for the party. Okay. So okay. you go padding forward. As you do, Right, you can uh, see more of the corners of the room. Um, the room's stark walls loom ominously, uh, but it seems like there has been no activity here for quite some time. Okay. No activity. Okay, so if there's no activity, I'm just going to explore pretty stealthily. I'm not going to go dashing around. Sure. Um, you start four, to look around. Five. As you come over here and you look here, right? This hallway begins to... Corners. Yeah, this hallway begins to turn north, right? The floor here begins to slope gradually downwards. Okay. Hmm, that seems kind of sketch. Uh, I, I kind of tell Bones to hold up, hold up. All right, I hold. And then I'm going to grab a couple of ball bearings out of my bag of holding. Okay. And I'm going to quietly roll them down the slope. Where do they go? Um. Okay, so you hear them... You hear them roll clack against this northern wall just softly not like clack 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 or anything like that there's just a little sure. clack as they at the as they kind of like build a little bit of momentum and then hit this wall and then there's a pause and then you hear them start to roll eastward but the slope continues mm. okay. hmm Okay. All right. Let's, we can this room that you guys are in is pretty barren. Um, and like I said, it, it looks like there hasn't been anyone in here for quite some time. So there's a thick layer of dust, not as thick as the empty room you found earlier. Um, but there's uh, most of the rooms you guys have been in so far have had something. Frescoes, wall decorations, statues, something. There's not much of anything in here. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, but there's no, there's nothing to lead me to believe things have been around here, right? Like, there's no reason, like... You see no, like, tracks in the dust or, or anything like that? That's what I mean. Okay, cool. Nope. Okay, um, where's Ezra? I don't, I don't see him. He's curved around on the other side, behind the wall that oh. you can't see. Okay. Okay. Staying ten feet away from Ashes. I come back up to the um, the corner and I wait. Yeah, you as you do, you can see uh, it be this gradual slope, and it's like a it's very slight. It's like a fifteen degree, you know, or something like that. Um, just slopes downwards um, to the east, and you can see it wraps to the south. Okay, if the uh, like the manner of the thing is, I'm just gonna call everyone and say let's go let's go up to the next corner um okay how about it okay uh every bones holds your position everyone else yeah i am move yeah. to to move to catch up where you where you would be going oh sorry no. coming i mean yeah yeah oh is that a statue yeah hold up it looks like a statue we're, we're gonna get there that's what all the other statues have looked like. Yeah. Ezra? Okay. As you turn the corner, you immediately see an eight-foot-tall statue of a four-armed fish monster standing in the center of the room facing north. 
two of its webbed hands clutch an ornate one foot square stone box. Mm. Almost immediately afterwards, your attention is drawn upwards by a sizzling sound. You see, suspended over the room, a roiling mass of bright green liquid. The edges of the ceiling that you can see seem to be seared and pockmarked where they touch this liquid. Hmm. Hmm. Probably not great. Don't let that touch you. What would you guys Does like to do? Does it look like a sentient liquid? It is. Does it, it have is, eyes? It is. It has no eyes. Definitely has no eyes. It has not moved or done anything since you have taken notice of it, other than just royal and bubble. Hmm. What kind of stupid shit do I have in my bags? Right. Hmm. <laughs> Um, everyone else, right at this point, you can you guys can inch yourselves forward, right? You can all catch up to this corner if you would like, right? So that everyone yeah, can kind of know. see what's going on here. Um, that's just like the immediate initial description that the first viewer gets, you know? Okay, so it, it is like just above the star, or where is it? So it's over the over the majority of the room. It's not it's not small. It's like twenty by twenty. Okay, it's a I'm not big moving here. I'm, I'm moving here just for, like, is it over this place? Uh, no, it's only in the. Let me let me just draw you a circle real quick. Um, draw a shape. Uh, isn't it? What is it? Shift Alt. No, it's that is not it. Shift Alt. Snap to the uh, thing. Yeah, that's if you want to draw a circle. Shift yeah, alt. that's what I want to do. So it's like this. Okay, so I'd like to move up to right here. Okay. Um, and I wait for everybody to catch up. Sure. Okay, I'll move up to there. I look back and I take out a water skin. And I heft it and I look at everyone, like really excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I toss the water skin in it. At the, at the ground under that thing. At the ground under the thing? It. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait to see if something happens. Nothing happens. Hmm. Huh. I pull out my crossbow. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I fire my crossbow at the ceiling. At the ceiling? At, at the, the ooze. At the sizzling Or the ass liquid ooze? or the whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, you okay, you disappears you it's hear you hear this you hear this and then it's just gone there's no yeah, like right. clatter it doesn't You're like hit the ceiling that. and then like drop back down out of it it's just gone well i have no desire to be under that thing ever um hmm. all right it's in 10 foot pole range this uh this ornate <laughs> square box that this uh this four-armed fish man is is holding it has like All this little arms? gleam of silver and gold like inlay across it it's so shiny no it's just Ever? two arms two like it's two lower arms are holding the uh the the box right the chest and then it's two upper arms are up like this that's right okay all right that's right Use your, use your mage hand. Mage uh, hand that uh, box. Uh, 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 what, what box? The shiny one. Uh, oh, the oh, one. by the way, right? Um, The floor, right, begins to... It stops. It stops sloping up where Ezra is, right? So all of this floor is on the same level here. Noted. So basically up here... Ezra, is, come up here. Is where it it stops. Ezra. 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 Ezra, come here. Look, I'll, I'll stand next to Ashes. Look, I'm standing next to him. Ezra. 
I don't oh. want to be in front. I don't like okay. this. <laughs> it's going to come after me when I touch it. Uh, what do bones. you mean? It's treasure. It's loot. Bones. Yeah, but the it's thing with the Nothing but arms. good stuff. Bones, yes, you have an 18 sure. perception. Passive, yes, I do. Um, You can see... Just dimly, a little bitty keyhole on the front of this box. <gasps> Would it look dwarven headish in shape? No, just key like key. a dwarf body is for a lock. Yeah. Mage hand Mage. apparates next to you. Mage hand over there. Get, get. Huh? Do you float the I'm mage hand over there? Attempt to have the hand connect with the box and pry it from the Goro-esque figure. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so you, the the hand comes over and kind of like clutches onto the box, right? And tries to pry. But there is no way. No way. Can't. Okay. Can't pull it. Can't pull it free of the fish man's grasp. It's time, Strunk boy. Alright. So this is what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to reach into my pack, pull out my grappling hook, okay. and however long it takes, however many throws it takes until I catch just the ledge have, of that box. Have so the mage hand take it over there. So you're... Uh, I literally uh, place uh, it on why it. Do you, why do you ruin my fun, Zach? Because we already have the mage hand out? I don't know. I know. I was gonna. I was going to really be insistent on how does Ashes throw his grappling hook and hold on to the rope at the same time when his left hand is clutching this cursed bent sword. His yeah. prehensile tail! <gasps> oh! Prehensile there we tail. go! <laughs> Obviously his prelins, prehensile okay, spring so you're tail. So you're throwing... Uh, are we gonna Are we gonna do this? We're gonna float the, the grappling hook over with the mage hand and set it? Oh yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Just have the mage hand okay. so, place the hook over the back of the box. Gotcha. Alright. Done. I now mean, what? really, I could just wrap the grappling hook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, can, <laughs> you definitely can. Um, so what's the plan? I uh, then grab a part of the rope with him. Oh, yeah. Sure. The strong boys. Yeah, the strong boys are trying to... I'll swatch, swap places with Matt. Yeah, I step all up. Ash, you probably have to take a step forward so you can get in front of me. There we go. There yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's not even a werewolf. Calm the fuck down. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> you should have hit him back. Okay. It was very cathartic. It would hurt me more than him. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do? Uh, want to pull. Okay, so uh, Matashta is helping Ashes pull on this thing. So I think that means Ashes, you're going to do an athletics check at advantage. And you're try you're gonna try to rip this. Ooh, there's ooh, this. There's this pull uh, strain right as as both Matt and Ashes just together like tug of war with this fucking this four armed fish man that's just standing there statuesque. My, right. My mage just, hand is hovering under the box so that when it rips off, it's oh, got... you can like catch it. Right. Sure. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Um. And there is, you hear this, and you rip this ornate chest out of the hands of this four-armed fish man. Part of the hands that, like, a, a finger breaks off with it, right? Clattering to the ground. <laughs> and, like, it yanks out, like, a good, like, two or three feet. Right as momentum carries it, and the mage hand woo floats underneath it, woo, catches it out of the air. Right, and I need everyone to select their tokens and roll initiative. Oh as, no! As what happened? As the four-armed oh, fishman, its hand, its chest ripped out of its hands. That finger woo, breaks off, and then you see rapidly. Woo, no longer stone. The whole body goes green and scaly, and it <laughs> sees you for arms and Back goes. All right. 
Ooh, ooh. Should we take a break before the fight? Uh, we can. Yeah, we haven't taken a break yet. So let me. Uh, has everyone rolled initiative yet? Indeed. Sadly, do, 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 do. Sadly, you guys I have rolled all rolled net initiative. Wow. Well, I rolled an oh, eight. Nice. This guy. How did, how did Ezra do better than you? Oh, it's not great. It's sorry. Not great. He is on private, but he rolled a ten. So <sighs> he looks like he has a tutu skirt on. He kind of like does. Totally it's does. Done. Don't judge him. I want to go I'm over not. there. Don't, don't be like that. Um, okay, <laughs> so uh, 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 that was a good call. Jake, let's go ahead and take a little five-minute bio break. Um, I'm going to hit some battle music, and then we'll be back here in just a little bit.
Hello everybody, we are back, and I think things are just about to get exciting. <coughs> Before we left, exciting. Matashtai and Ashes had ripped this ornate chest out of this fish statue's hands, and now it has come to life, and it is angry. So, we have jumped into combat, Matashtai... You are at the top of the turn order. What do you want to do? Um, if I remember correctly, <laughs> I had my bow in my hand. My so bug! I am going to use my bonus action to activate Kensai Shot. Cool. And I'm going to shoot a couple of arrows at this this fish. Sure. So okay. uh, I uh, reach back, grab two arrows. Sling him up, and then... Phew. First shot. Sure. Hit. He's shooting. Uh, that is a hit. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> First arrow takes him in the chest. Second shot. That's a hit. Uh, second arrow takes him in the arm. I am then going to stow my bow away. Get my fists out. Okay. At the ready? Yep. Gotcha. Anything else for your turn? turn? Ashes, you're up. Uh, Go up under that slime, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not going up under that get, slime. Get all up bro. under that slime. But I will, however, uh, so are we playing that if you, when, when you, your, your uh, turn uh, shit is, like, you get one action and one bonus action, if you use a bonus action, you cannot spend your action on another bonus action. It has to be an action action. Ugh. Oh, I think that's uh, I dumb, mean, I don't generally. Care. What is your preference? My preference is for 5th edition to allow you to convert quick actions into actual actions because that's what you should be able to do so for now we'll go that way <laughs> well, well, i mean that if that's what you want to do because i don't want to yeah start so what what, it, what are you to wanting to do what's your plan uh two bonus actions yeah i i, I get that i gathered right you want to do a right and you want to <laughs> shift or what what's your plan Fucking shit. no no i want to uh use my blood maledict Okay. And and then also cast a right. All right. Yeah, I gather that bitch. But oh, ha ha. What are we going to do? No. Let's uh uh I we came into this saying that we were going to we were going to try to follow the rules as much as possible. So, let's uh let's try to follow the rules as much as possible. All right. Then for my turn, I will raise my uncursed chin towards mm -hmm. the fish monster. Yeah. And project uh, blood magic at it as I cast Ooh. blood curse of binding. Okay. Uh, strength saving throw. What is your DC? Uh, my DC is 8, 9, 10, 11, okay. 12. It he has a plus right 4. That is not great. Fail. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow. Straight up failed. Okay, so, or have their speed reduced to zero until the end of your next turn. Okay. Were you amplifying right. it or not? I and, did and not. So I'm just gonna be sitting there and holding them in place. Okay. Were you amplifying oh. it then? No, I, I think you have to specify amplify before. Yeah. 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 The, the, so no, I wasn't. So what do you have to do to amplify it? What's the cost of amplifying it? Uh, yes, to I take damage. To I have to roll right, and whatever I roll, that's how much damage I take, and then I get the amplify effect. Ah, ouch! So I have to. For, so basically, to amplify a uh, blood maledict, I have to roll a one d six and take that damage. Okay, sure. So the target has their speed reduced to zero until the end of your next turn. All right, sounds good. Uh, if that is the end of your turn, then Ezra, turn. you're up. Uh, as uh, 
Uh, let me just double check. Oh. Where is the box at this point? Uh, the box would be uh, roughly here. Not use the same color. Roughly here-ish. Right on the edge of the uh, ooze. Okay. Uh, for my action, I'm going to use my mage hand to pick up the box. Okay. I'm going to shift it behind bones. Okay. Right there. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. I'll move it on up. And sure I believe us. that is my turn. Okay. Uh, if that is your turn, the uh, fish man with four arms uh, rages and flails, right? Tries to surge forward to, to stomp after you. Um, Right, but yeah, there's this force hold going on from Ashes, and he is it's unable like to really like to to move through this. Um, so you see his arms like raise up, like in fury, uh, like very clearly. He will lash out at anything that comes close to him at this point. But that is his turn. Oh, Bones, you're up. Okay. Rise up, rise up. Um, I will. I don't want to throw my boomerang and have it be gone forever. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use the uh, little used short bow. Okay. Pull out your yeah. short bow. I have two short bows. Oh, uh, one specifies that it's bone. Mm, okay. Sure. There you go. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I'm muted, Mitch. <laughs> Use the bone one. Okay. Bone bow. Bone bow. Suck it. Suck it. Yeah, I think See? I can get bone bow. Back on rain shit, yeah? Let's see. Uh, not unless it's. Oh, for scout? Specifically? No, I don't, it's definitely not for scout. Oh, um, then, then no. Like un, unless unless you have a right. person unless you have a person giving you a, a advantage yeah. or adjacency, you don't get no, sneak, sneak attack. attack. <laughs> I move over here and I hide. Okay, so that is five damage against this boy. All right. Uh, top of the round, Matashtai. The, the fish baron continues to rage and strain against this this magical binding. Um, Shoot it from afar. <laughs> shit. Bones go away. Did, did this lo block off? Is that what this is? No, that was just me marking. That's where the slope begins. So oh, where okay. you guys are is all flat all the same level okay well i'm gonna pull my bow back out then <laughs> uh, i'll use my bonus action to ken size shot <laughs> and I'm whop, whop. whittle him down sure Ooh, that's gonna miss Ooh. that's also Ooh. gonna miss Ooh. uh this time right like he's 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 got nothing else but time because he's just fucking held here so now he's kind of like He's not catching them out of the air, but he's using his these big meaty upper arms to like shield himself to block your shots. All right. Cool, 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 I, I get two per short rest. Oh, yeah. shit. I thought they were long yeah. rests. Nope, no, nope. bro. Why would it be the same as a barbarian? It's basically the same as, like, a druid. No, yeah. because the whole entire no, deal with this class is they encourage you to do it so you can fuck yes. up your teammates. I think yeah, druid druid is is short rest. Druids is short. That sounds wrong. 90% sure. Short. But it, irrelevant in this point. So Matashtai, you back up just slightly, right? Like like Ashes calls out, if you back up, I could I could transform, right? Um and so you you take the step back. 
Uh, and then it's Ashes' turn. So while, while I'm still holding him, I'm going to go ahead and start... <laughs> Arm snapping, popping, ripping, tearing. It's wow. You know? Uh, and I will once again... I'm going mean... to not yeah. hurt anybody. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I know it, it, it ends anyways, but just for flavor, I'm going to let go of the blood maledict. <laughs> yeah, sure. Grip, grip my sword and as a bonus action, uh, ride it up. So I'm going to reduce my, my HP by five. Okay, so you now have the cursed longsword in your left hand, your actual silvered longsword in your right hand, and you have cast a right upon that sword. Yep. Okay, and you've on, taken on the damage. The, on Quicksilver. Perfect. All right, if that is the end of your turn, Ezra, you're up. All right. I am going to continue shifting the box. Okay, sure. Um, get rid of your drawing. Where do you want the box? Uh, so it seems like we're kind of running away. We're not running away. <laughs> seems like Ezra's running away. Look, just put it in my bag. Mage hand it up. into my bag. Or mine, either one. Like we got bags. Two bags of holding. We got bags. We got on bags. bags. On bags. They're oh, holding we'll bags on bags. Uh, Ezra doesn't impose himself. He just shifts it back. He just shifts it sure. back. Okay. And then he shifts himself back. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Okay. The fishman. Now released. released Charges the forward. Boom, boom, brom, bra. Oh, boy. Uh, and he is going to close the distance with with ashes. Um, and as he does, like, his his hands come out and up. And he's got these uh, big, meaty fists, right, for maybe pummeling. But you also see he has these uh, talons, right, on the end of them, like, that they could cut deep. Um, so he is going to charge at you. And before he gets to you, right, you, you, poof, you righted right and there's um there's kind of like this blood just pooling down your yep. wrist down your hand and as he as he nears you right you see this kind of like like change in his face you see him oh it, shit take it's this like blood deep water. inhale and his eyes go red he has advantage on his attacks against you really because you do not have full hp Oh, damn. Oh. It's not because he's an anti-lycan. Well, I, mean, I didn't anyways. I didn't <laughs> you thought anti-lycan? <laughs> anti-lycan. That's, that's where we're going with this. That's where I went, yes. So he is going to make a series of attacks against you. Uh, he has no weapon, uh, but, but he is going to use his claws and his bite. Um, so he is going to do one bite against you. Wait, the 26 oh. for nine damage. People. The greatest um, enemy of the lichen for the fish. It is not resistance. it is not magical, right? So yeah, you do have resistance, so that is gonna be halved down to four, correct? Or do do we it, do, what it's always round down, right? It's, it's always, always round down. Always, always round, round down. down. Okay, so uh he's gonna bite you and then he is going to take both of his big meaty claws and try to <laughs> bisect you. Uh, twenty-four for ten. So that's another five. Take Mm -hmm. And then a 25 for 11, so another 5. So you guys see, right? Ashes goes werewolf, and this doing baron, like, closes with him and just starts to whoosh, whoosh, slam and rip and tear and bite and I mash into right him. Now. But Ashes, Ashes takes the blows, oh, yeah, and they Ashes seem to be buttery. harming him, right? Oh, but he is also weathering them. Um, the, his, his werewolf uh, uh, curse... Men. Seems to be able to keep him up. Uh, Bones, you're up. Oh, hey, it's me. <laughs> it's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. Um, hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. And standing next to Ashes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going uh, you're not to... closest, so... 
I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my bow on the ground. I'm gonna get my get my rape my uh, thingy out, my uh, double blade scimitar. Yeah. I'm gonna go one, two, Clatters three. On the ground. Oh, two, two, two. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. I know what's happening. I'm gonna cut at him. <laughs> you, you dart in past werewolf ashes. <laughs> slash at it, the Baron. It, yeah. it definitely hits. Yep. Okay, so I get my sneak attack. I'm gonna use my bonus Minus action six. to disengage. Minus thirty. And I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bonus that... action disengage. Sure. And I'm gonna go one, two, three. And you pull back out. Gotcha. <laughs> cool. <away>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect <laughs> manipulation there. That's what I do. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, if that is the end of your turn, we are back to the top with Matashtai. Oh uh, well, I'm gonna trust on Ashes being the bulwark here, and uh, sure, I can say shouting. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this is gonna turn into a okay. Just let ashes sit at the end of the hall. We all like shoot the shit out of things, and then we can just force feed ashes or potions afterwards. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Just drink it. Yep. <laughs> Nineteen hits. Uh, this is the first one. Yep. Yep. So so Another what is the con save for drowning damage? to healing potion? <laughs> That's a good question. We'll have to find out later. Uh, how about we um, don't do a con save for that? <laughs> okay, yeah, so you you just, another, again, right, like, having ashes at this, this almost kind of, like, reminds you, uh, I don't know, maybe back in the day of dealing with some of the, well, dealing with some of the Hearthguard, right? The 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 concept of, like, having that front line go in, and then the, the archers just in the back, just, like, plugging away. Just, Yarp. Not a worry, not a care, right? Able to just hone in and and hit every single shot. Uh, you're you're whittling this, except for this the last creature two. down. <laughs> yeah, except for the last two, right? Um, <laughs> those, okay, those never happen. Those little guys. Don't worry about those little guys. That is the end of your turn. Um, ashes. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, I need you to uh, roll a it, check. Yeah, I mean it. It's not gonna matter. Well, it does. It does matter. The here's the reason why it matters. The reason why it matters is because if you fail, yeah, you're still gonna attack him, but you're only getting one attack. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh because yeah, it's, that's right. It's so not a full attack it. action. Yeah, it's make yeah. an attack. So it still is a a thing to consider. But a right, 19, cool. 19 blows it out of the water. What, what was your DC? Yeah, it was. It's, it, it's just like a death save. Uh, or okay. it's not like it's like, it's like a it's constitution 10, save 10 check. or it's half the 10, damage or if high, half the 10 is greater than 10 yeah 10 or half the damage or so that damage. would have been 10 so you are okay. golden um so you resist howl and what do you want to do oh dude i'm a going in he's a going 15? in uh 15 Whew, catches the arm and throws it aside uh, I says, double my efforts and come back in. Eight. Oh man, yeah, you I roll me. Sword. Roll me that d twenty. Roll me that beautiful d twenty. Fucking damn it! Your silver sword snaps in half as you oh, clang God. it against a wall. Oh no! Mm. You oh, no. you go in for the first strike, right? He actually like catches your hand and rebuffs it, throws it away. You you twirl, come back in and try to catch up, like slice up him, right? And he actually like steps into you and and both both hands up here, right? Both hands up here, going to maul your face. You've got this. Do you have this though? Third hand comes down, catches your wrist. Fourth hand comes over, pries the sword out of Shit. your grip. I always forget about the fourth hand. And just mm. holds it now there in front of you. Damn, that would be your right fading too. Oh yeah. That's up. Yep, that, that disengages my um uh, Yep. My right. Which means my max HP goes back up to yep. its maximum, but I do not get any HP back. Alright, Ashes, that is the end of your turn. I, I believe, yeah. right? Nothing else? You, I, technically, uh, you have see, a bonus action if you want to. Nothing else I can do with my bonus action, so... You want to check chug a potion? Back. You could chug, chug a, potion a potion if you wanted to. Literally just chug a potion. 
Sure. Sure. <laughs> Look at that potion healing. Damn! That's a max potion of healing. Nice. That he kind of like from him. he kind of like snarls at you as you well, fucking you know like down this potion. Sword on him. Right? Yeah, he has a silver sword now. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, he I does. Silver. <laughs> Would he think he to sh- use it though? Shit. Hell yeah, he'll think to use it. Uh, this guy has this guy has fourteen intelligence. Yeah, he'll think to use it. Uh, oh, Ezra, damn, he's gonna fucking up. mollywop your ass with your own sword. Yep, 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 yep. That's a. Uh... Oh hey, uh... shit! Oh Jeremy, as a free action. Yeah. Or my free item interaction, I pull out my shield. Hey, there you go. You're like, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> you just like, you just like grab it off your back and do the like sling forward yep. thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, you're, the, you're literally this werewolf with this bent ass cursed sword <laughs> and this shield like held out in front of you. Like, Look, please, don't you're please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Over the top of your <laughs> shield you're now. Fucking, you're, you're like really putting... All oh, the jellies in the jam, man. I love it. I love the shit out of it. All right, Ezra, you're up. What do you want to do? Seeing the tides of battle kind of turn against ashes. Yeah. I am going to make the thing make a constitution saving throw as I try Ooh, to blind it. Okay, so there's a... What, is, is, there a is there a look or feel to the spell as it goes off? Uh, it stops looking. It stops looking. <laughs> Got him. I, I, I would say you, you kind of see a little bit of a glow from the vitiligo on my body. Sure. But it's just me pointing my staff with the little metallic bird flirt it, uh, flirting gotcha. about it. So there's no like, there's no like beam or like boom no, this, or anything this, like that. This there's one, just, this one, yeah, this just one like, just has a. If it's if it takes, it's just the darkness in their eyes. Okay, so uh, special, it is a, a giant special hand shows up and just pokes it in the eye. <laughs> yeah, just bloop, <laughs> bloop, <laughs> and you hear like a. a and a, that's that, when I get big these hands. That is why I ask for descriptions yeah. because you never know. Sometimes people want to flare some stuff up. All right, so uh, it is a Constitution saving throw. What is your DC? Fifteen. He has a plus six. Mm-hmm. Damn! And that is a fail. fourteen because he oop, oop, does not have advantage. I was gonna say, why would he? I I was double checking, but no, he yeah. does not have advantage. Um, okay, so he is blinded now. All right, is that the end of your turn, Ezra? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh. Okay, so he is blinded, but he has blood frenzy. So uh, ashes, he would normally have advantage on ashes, but since he I uh, did, did what I could yeah, for since, you, buddy. Since I he is blinded, you. Uh, <laughs> these are going to be at normal roll. He is going to try to bite you, ashes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he critically fails yeah, now. And does his jaw? No. Does his jaw fall off? Nope, he's good. He he leans out, snaps, right? And uh Ash is basically oh, like oh, like really he wrong. tries to go over your shield and bite at your face, right? But you're able to like basically like whoo, like hit him in the bottom of the jaw to like snap his jaws closed. Um oh, that's cool, I like that. But with that, he is going to make he is going to make attacks with the silvered sword. Um, oh, now God. he's going to use his basic claw attack, but your silver sword damage, um, is, it's a long sword, right? Uh, it's a 1d8. Is he uh, proficient with long swords? Yeah, is he proficient with long swords? Yes, he is. It, it, it... And what? he is, this and he is. trained with long swords? It's a, mm, that's it, sus. That's the susest thing I've ever heard. He's, Susses. one, they literally do not list weapon or item proficiency on monster stat blocks that so it is because they don't know how to use them so it is up yeah. to dm Fiat. y'all are so quick. it is up to dm Fiat. <laughs> all right also this is a sahuagin baron so i'm gonna say he's practiced enough to know any he's basically a fighter i mean so counterpoint he's uh, also smart enough versus... he's also smart enough 
to take that longsword in both of his lower hands and use it as a versatile that weapon. Is a 1D10 sure, instead. he should definitely do that, but I don't think he should be proficient. <laughs> That's too bad. So Look, I'm just I'm just gonna say counterpoint, right? Skeleton versus zombie. Zombie technically has arms. Zombie probably could use a weapon, however they cannot. They can't Whereas use skeletons can. They are listed as not being able to use the weapon because they don't have the the mental faculties or remembrance to use the weapon. Mm, Anyways, moving on. Uh, the Suhugan Baron is going to make a slash. So who again? God. Fucking kill ashes. Okay. So, 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 so that is that is not the damage. That is not the damage, right? That oh, damage is okay. the claw, the regular claw damage. So the damage. Okay, what is silver duty? Do you have fucking vulnerability? Uh huh. So it's double whatever it rolls. So it's uh -huh. a four times a forty-eight. No, well, first of all, I I am gonna reduce the damage by half because I've got a uh, resilient hide. But your does that impact silver be weapons? Crit because of my half plate. But you're vulnerable. He can't be crit. That there's there's the thing. He can't be crit, so he doesn't take the crit. Sure. You only so, have a resistance to non-magic weapons that aren't silvered. Oh shit! Yes. Yeah, that's 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 a med no. Okay, so my so, hide does not. So he can't. Take the crit. He can't okay. take the crit, right? But he is normally vulnerable, so it's double damage anyway. So the damage is going <clears throat> to be two d ten plus four. Okay. Which I'm actually, which actually isn't that much stronger than this guy's regular claws, but it'll be fully effective. True. 19. <laughs> 19. No, 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 19. That hurts. I gotta tell you guys, this is not the way I pictured this going. You probably um, should have lost your sword. Uh, yeah, and yeah, you know what? That's probably where it started going south. And he's gonna, from now on, he's gonna swing again as he gets two from attacks. Now on, maybe, like, carry around the one that you are not weak to. So he's gonna swing again with the silver sword. Maybe just pull that one and out when we're critically fail. <laughs> roll a five. Roll a five. And roll we're gonna roll. The the and that back. is that's below a ten. Okay, so we have to confirm crit. Give the sword back. Alright. So he he tings, right? It hits off of your shield. He loses grip on the sword, right? It wrenches out of his uh, his grip as you kind of like slam it away with the shield. It clatters. It like, actually, it doesn't really clatter. It kind of slams against the wall just to the north of you and clangs to the ground next to you. All right. Great. So that, those are his attacks. He snarls at you, right? Um, There's blood and malice and... and Kind of this cruel, unnatural cleverness in his eyes. And it's bounce. Like, I felt like there was a time I was going to get hit with my own sword at some time during this campaign. Did so, not think it was going to be section two. This, can, three. Can, th this whole ro you rolling a 1d2 thing is a little ridiculous. Either you crit success or crit fail. You need to stop that. Well, I mean... Roll 1d2, where? Oh, I, I got a crit, crit for the attack or a crit or a crit yeah. or a crit. Uh, yeah. I, have, I have a bad habit of that. <laughs> Whatever. So, One, you know, two, three. I move back in. I double blooded scimitar. Whoosh. Uh, 15 does not hit. Uh, oh, oh, except he is blind. So you would have advantage on the attack. Uh, I get advantage. 17 and a 17. Oh, you, you, nope. St hold up. You have to roll a save at the end of his turn. Ooh, ooh, thank you. Thank Man, fuck you. you, Ezra, you piece of shit. All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> and it's a constitution save, right? Yes. 13. He's still blind. Woo, go. Ezra, you're good again. So the 17, 17 does hit, and you will get sneak attack. Sneak attack. Hey, awesome ooh, baby all that minimum damage. Awesome baby damage. How do you want to eviscerate? Oh, how, how, Bones? How do you want to eviscerate this, uh, this Sahuagin um, Baron? Ooh, this As is, he um, was on his last legs, and it was literally just the fact that Ashes whiffed. That's the only reason he's still alive. Classic Dang. J move. Classic J move. Wow, Whiff, and then got his ass beat with his own weapon. <laughs> okay, so like, I just want to like. <laughs> 
As I cut him, it's just it should be like really light because this is like minimum damage. But it's just sure, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just like, like do that enough. slash. You fillet him. Yeah, yeah you, you just, just like do that slash. And then to like just... cut his belly, and then his guts just kind of fall just, out. Yeah, and it does that like delayed reaction, right? You just like yeah. slice through and hold, and then like a full two seconds later, they start to spill out. Just, Dude, just this oh, massive amount of intestines. He tries to put him back in with his lower. Hands. Yeah, he's got the two lower hands. Oh no, poor guy. <laughs> oh, that's throwing up behind you. Just... Oh. Don't oh, go in here. No. My poor fish man, you barely got to live. You had this whole like life ahead Ooh, of you, this whole storied past. But no. He oh, clatters to the ground. Me. He's gonna run away because I'm afraid of as as uh, fucking ashes. Oh uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> no. Uh, Once combat drops, I think that no longer okay. applies. All right. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. That is yeah. the best thing you've done for me. I don't think there's any ruling there because it's it's just on your next turn. But you don't have a next turn because yeah. combat is done. Right? So okay. it's in that moment, right? Ash is probably like lashes about, like looks furious, right? There's almost red in his eyes and he growls. And he looks and, he, and you, you all see him, right? There's that tense moment. And then... Oh. And then the hostilities have ceased, so he just kind of like he breathes deeply and relaxes. Perfect. I'll I'll walk over. I'll Super slump perfect. over and pick up my sword after stowing my shield. Uh, very good. Very woo! good. Oh, I pick up my bow. All right, everyone can add five hundred experience to their character sheets oh. for defeating Jesus. the Sahuagin Baron. It's a big Sahuagin. one. Fight. Sahuagin. Sahuagin. Okay, Sahuagin. Cool. We did it. Sahuagin. 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 Okay, so Sahuagin. Sahuagin. Like okay, I'm gonna kill myself. I wanna. I wanna. <laughs> Majapahit. 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 Sahuagin. I would. I'd like to launch myself into the ceiling ooze. Okay, sounds good. You wanna Sprung. launch yourself into the ceiling ooze? Uh, bones yeah. is gone. And my life. Just gone. Oh, uh, All right. I, will, I will drag this corpse fully out from under. Ooh, sure, sure. This, uh, this pull it back, ceiling. pull it back, yeah. Yeah, before sure. investigating it for stuff. All right, sure. Um, It has nothing other than the clothes on its back. Cool, great. Hey, I... hey guys, I've got the, the box. Yo, I want to box. check the box out! The box! The box. There is now a... Ornate metal box. Yo, it's got a keyhole. I want to try my dwarf key. I'm, I'm going to hover the box with my mage hand. Over. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure. You hover the box with the mage hand over. Um, You try the dwarf key. It's. There's a soft click. The suspended pool of acid ripples. Oh shit! Royals and bubbles. Oh, back it up. And you see it begin to run. slowly dissipate. Oh. Oh. We released the curse. Damn! I thought it was gonna like fall oh, down. Shit. I should have stuck the sword. And it's in gone. See if I could it's gone. Like a few. A few moments later, it is gone. Probably. Right. And you see, it's instead really of this uh, suspended acid pool basically you see just this pockmarked cratered ceiling where the roiling bubbling suspended acid had basically just eaten into the ceiling above this room hmm. and within the ornate chest right open it dwarf key best key dwarf key damn what would happen if i had tried to pick it I wonder if the thing would have just fallen. I think that's a safe assumption. That's what I'm operating under. You <laughs> see that as you open the box, the inside is lined with thin sheets of lead. Uh -oh. Ooh, thin sheets of lead, probably radiation. Ezra, you take it. And within the box <laughs> is a dried, withered, Art. Yep, don't want to be a part of this. Ezra, you take it. 
Into the bag. Into the bag. Within Not my bag. Bag. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in my bag. Not my bag. Okay. Oh. So you what? You just like close the, just close it back up and like, like nope, never mind. In the bag. <laughs> if I relock it, does the acid come back? Do you relock it? I try. Sure. Click. That's All right, nice. I put it in fucking Matashdai's bag. <laughs> I don't want to be any part of that. God damn, that that has phylactery written all over it. Sure as fuck does. <laughs> like fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Now you said it was a dried heart, right? Yeah, a dried withered heart. Yeah, no, removed. Still beating, blood okay. pumping heart. Shut up. Rem removed from my original body and kept in memorandum. Like, <laughs> like fucking god, dude. You mean mem in memoriam? I mean memoriam, yes. I yeah, that is what I meant. <laughs> that is indeed. I mean, unless the thing he was that writing I it in his memorandum. I mean, there we go. I was just going to go with it, but thank you for embarrassing me on the internet. <laughs> yeah, well, so, our, our so. One viewer. Now oh, having. Well, well, Having well, now they this, think Zach's an idiot, so... Having found this box, having defeated <laughs> this this suspended fishman, what do you want to do? I mean, not, I'd like to check the room out now, right? Okay. Is there any, anything well, the else? Acid's gone. So, so, check it out. Yeah, now that the acid is gone and the, the fishman is dead, right, the room is pretty barren. There's not really much else in here. Um, I assume you want to go... A, Go about your ways of like searching for secret things and stuff like that. Yes, everything is yeah. a secret in here. Okay. Uh, uh, roll if you want to roll, or tell me if you want to. I want to. I'll roll. Use your uh, acid. I'd like to roll. Are you also rolling? Or is you assisting me in some way? I will assist I you. Yes. Oh, sure. All okay. Right. So, uh, uh, so Matt and Bones uh, follow each other around, um, uh, assisting in double, e double, yeah, triple, check. double, I'm double, double triple like, checking. Knock, 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 knock. Sure. Knock, knock. Awesome. Yeah, While that's happening, what's going on, Ezra and Ashes? You were saying something? Uh, yeah, Ashes. Uh, while they're doing this, uh, Ashes is going to uh, squat by this uh, monstrosity, right? And uh -huh. since one of its hands is completely. Uh, out of use, he's going to pull out his little black book, and he's going to start writing uh, basically a, like a stat page for this creature. Be like, how hard it is to hit. Gotcha. Uh, how many hits it took to take down. Sure. Uh, what it, what it kind of does, how smart it is. Uh, look it over, see if there's like anything that looks like he could salvage and sell, and be like, mm, not really anything worth selling. If given the the time and 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 wasn't gonna use anything, he would most likely skin the thing. Yeah, I can help you with that. After I'm done checking this room, anything for Ezra? He's just watching Aster or Aster. He's just watching Ashes from a distance. Gotcha. Ooh. All right. I should, I should uh, also drop uh, bones and Matashta in this northeastern corner. You guys are checking around, right? And you hear this tink 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 tonk 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 tonk. And then know. and then bones, you you sniff and you can feel this current of air. Dang. There's a false wall. Okay. Uh I guess we just try and push on the edges of it. I right? drop kick it. Okay. He I get away from it as he drop kicks it. <laughs> We're going to have a very interesting conversation when we have a long rest. <laughs> Boom! The door is blown open, right? Uh, not not a not a swivel door or not a, a literally a like false plastered wall, right? Just <laughs> cracks better. and breaks in and open, right? Behind um, it, ceramic plates. <laughs> ceramic plates. <laughs> Uh, behind this it, time it's the nice one. This secret room, <laughs> the expensive ones we could have sold. The secret room lies empty. Whatever potential Yay. contents it held were discovered and plundered long ago. And they put someone... the fucking wall back up. Jesus Christ, dude! Someone found the room with the goddamn acid. 
Who knows? That's crazy. And then fix the wall. <laughs> Someone they brought a construction crew. Whoever <laughs> did that must have been mad. Because there's definitely not magic that could, you <laughs> yeah. know. It is the dungeon of the mad mage. I, I don't on. care. They fucking fixed it. Whether it's Look, by I'm, magic I'm say, or a construction these, crew, they all fixed these, it. Like, tiny rooms that just like look into places really just seem like masturbating layers like every <laughs> single one of them <laughs> like nice. some dude just sits back there oh yeah give me acid give me acid, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me acid. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, all, all right luggage. okay so uh after this it seems like there's nothing really left in this <laughs> room so what would you all like to do fucking leave all right, so uh, navigate yourselves <laughs> back out the way Got you came. Got a fucking phylactery. Like, goddamn. I wonder, I wonder who's, though. I, I, I think we got the Mad Mage's right. phylactery right here. I think we'll... Really? Because we, we could just end this campaign I think campaign if we kill this, right we now. win the dungeon. Yep. You want to just end the campaign right now? Fucking yeah. burn his phylactery? Just straight up. Right, Dude, how find up yourselves... Are you? So, like... You kind of got just like dumpstered on there for a little bit. I did. I'm not looking too great. I'm 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 limping super. You should hard. sit way at the back and use your crossbow for a bit. Yeah, maybe maybe that'll. Uh, yeah. And especially if you start berserking, you'll be away from everybody. I mean, except for Ezra. Yeah. Let's just uh. <laughs> you guys want to try and clear like one or two rooms? Or do you want to go find somewhere to camp or and or leave? Uh, look, I, I want to clear one really, or two Really, really like to go back up at some point. And have Obaya get this fucking sword out of my hand. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. True. So we're not gonna do as it. As each encounter goes, my pride for going back up within the first day is diminishes. <laughs> you care less and less each time. Yeah. I mean, Azra was ready to go back after the first fight when he <laughs> met <laughs> intelligence. That's Jesus, Ezra. Said. Jesus. He has no pride. All right, just, okay, one more room then. One more room. Just this room right here. One What's more room. That's right. That's right. What's the worst that could happen? So start heading that way. Down the, down the hall of <laughs> statues and the spider up. webs laced above you. Holy shit, I can see the end of the fucking hallway. You oh, actually there's can. There's big double doors, dude. As, there's big double doors. As you oh, get there, no. you do see two large double doors. Oh, oh hell no. I'm not going in the double, double doors. Dude, that, that should be our last room, the double doors. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, sure there are other rooms. So are you going to yeah. check yeah, the yeah, room to the, the south? We're going in the double doors. Are you, are you, are, is that the plan, or are you guys going in this room to the south? I want to go in this small room first. All right. So uh, you're checking about the passively, door. Yeah. Passively uh, checking you doors. See, you see no signs of any tomfoolery, nothing to suggest that there is any issue, and it seems <clears throat> unlocked. All right, I, I open the door. Okay. Huh? Of course. I don't need 40 the goddamn door. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Creaks Come open. <laughs> right? And you see a hall leading south. I go to the corner. Okay. Bring yourselves, people. Bring it. All right. I'm kind of hanging back. As you bit. peer you around. Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, he's still in lichen form. Un un what? Jay, did, did you, you drop there, Wolf? Yeah, I dropped. Oh, you did? Okay. I, I deliberately dropped. Deliberately dropped? Okay, gotcha. All right, so... And I also stowed my sword and my shield and pulled out my hand hand crossbow. As you look into this room... Or light crossbow, sorry. Cobwebs enshroud rows of old weapon racks, many of which have collapsed under their own weight. Embedded in the door on the southern wall <clears throat> is a hand axe. Jay! <laughs> no. You got another hand. No, like, grab on. this bad no. boy. We've got, we've got someone who has a fucking uh, magic corporeal hand. <laughs> Is there another fucking severed hand and a blood spatter? <laughs> See nothing of the sort. Damn. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna do it. So, come on, dude. Would you like right, to look, investigate further? What are the 
What are the chances that it's a second cursed weapon? Yeah, I come back if, up. If you are so confident, then you get the it. Lined yourself. up on the northern walls are more of these shelving units, right? Stands where you would put swords and arms and armor. Um, most of them rusted, decayed, broken, fallen in on themselves. Cobweb covers the entirety. This looks like an ancient armory. All right. Perhaps. So, all right, guys, if this dungeon has taught me anything thus far, it's that this door is going to lead either somehow back into the hallway we were just in or <laughs> it's going to be the back way into another giant room. Okay. Oh, yeah. Or prob dude, what if it goes to that dead end hallway? Hallway. That that actually seems pretty likely. Actually, that would explain some things. So, wanna check the door? Yeah, we're gonna I don't check. Oh, Ashes door. drink some potions. <laughs> God damn it! It's just like so one. You have just, like twenty. Just drink like I a have, one. I have just drink eight. one. Just drink one. Just drink one. Look at that Ooh, guy. Good, mm. good rolls. Fucking got it. Okay. Perfect. Mm, yum, 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 yum. We're Ashes. ready to party. So it's uh, looking a little bit better. Okay, so what's the plan? I have seven. <laughs> he probably has more health than me now. Uh, nope. Close, though. All right, look, Ashes, I'll give you one of my potions. Drink that motherfucker, too. Thanks, man. <laughs> I welcome. love that you wow. guys just have 50,000 potions. It's, it is the best thing ever. I love this. Because I feel Matt like you guys, I feel like you guys will just keep pushing yourselves. You're like, we could go back now, <laughs> or we could just drink like three potions. Come on, we're fine. Just drink Stop three more potions. Down. I love that. Just we're another just like couple more 50 potions. Gold. Let's keep going. Fifty gold. Let's keep That's going. That's literally what's right? happening. I love it. Love it. Okay. All right. I enter the room. Um, okay. <laughs> what's everyone else doing while this is happening? You all going in together, to or Ashes and Ezra are hanging back, or what? Hanging back. Okay. As soon as we enter this room, like, Ezra! Form. Ezra! <coughs> Ezra! Goodbye. Coffin. <laughs> Use your mage hand, grab that axe. Where's you your axe? I, in the door, what the fuck? It's just embedded in this southern it, door. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to touch it. In light of, you know, previous things. This thing against axes. Yep, okay. So it floats over, and it... You grab onto it with the hand, and you kind of, like, wrench it. Um, it can't carry more than 10 pounds, but it also doesn't have, like, a whole lot of, like, pulling power or anything like that. Half. It... Nope. It, yeah, it can't it can't wrench the the hand axe free, right? Um, but it also doesn't like cause gouts of flame or fire or fifty thousand demons to summon either. So. Wait, like okay, okay, okay. Cursed items, it. cursed items are magic, aren't they? Yeah. Ezra, go see if it's magic. I can't touch it. it to do that. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Oh, oh, okay. Right. What? Uh, I try the previous technique and i go to chop the haft off of the hand axe okay so you and it uh roll me just roll me a what if we go cut the hand of sahagin roll me a 1d 20 roll me a 1d 20 this is to determine if you break your spear no his spear's it magic. breaks my spear, I quit this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It does not break your spear, but there is a... really badly. There is a... You, you connect with the haft, right? Which looks like a long wooden handle, but there is apparently a elongated tang that is inside the wooden shaft. So as you connect, oh, yeah. right, you splinter the, sh the haft, right? And it goes just flying into a thousand itty-bitty splinters. But you hit the 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 tang of the hand axe so hard that it kind of wrenches and it sends these these shivers up your arms, right? Yeah, it does that whole like vibrate things, and it just is this resounding echo throughout the whole room and down the hall. Cool, cool. 
cool. So everything everywhere knows we're here now. So I'm pretty be, sure it's not louder? magical. Would this be louder or quieter than the ceramic blades? Uh, about unless, the same. Unless about it's the same. a hand axe of noise making. Ooh, yeah. What if it's that? Do we think of that? <laughs> I think it is that. I think we already learned it is that. <laughs> we think Man, it's a I should be a wizard. I fucking gotta identify. All right, Ezra, go identify it. As a ritual? Touch on it. Fuck off. Yeah, touch on it. You don't use one of your hands for any way. It's not going to hurt you to hold a hand axe. You don't know what I do with my hands. He does carry a staff around with one hand. Look, okay, here's what you do. You hold in the hand axe. You, if you have to do casty things, you rest the staff in the crook of that arm. You cast things. <laughs> You get the staff back. <laughs> I would uh, actually, I would say, um, after hitting the axe, you haven't wrenched it free from the door, but you clearly like jarred it, so it looks significantly looser than it was. I don't want to touch it. I'm scared of touching anything. I think he's implying that if I try with the mage hand again, it might be able to be more effective. Try with the mage hand again. Sure. <laughs> hmm. You can, uh, with the mage hand, you can pull free the just horribly marred and mutilated hand axe now. Um, it is useless. I hover it over the tabaxi's head. Can't you do touch things through mage hand? Can you do that? Or is that that's, just like an arcane trickster I thing? I think arcane. that's a familiar, like you can do stuff through your familiar, or if you're an arcane trickster, you can do stuff through the hand. Ah, oh, damn. And I don't have identify, so. I, so whatever, I'll, I hold the bag open, put it in there. Don't touch me with is it. Is it just a mundane hand axe? Is well, it it's like a fucked up one at that now? It's yeah. a ruined mundane hand yeah, axe. Uh, you can label bent hand axe in in the bag if you would like. I don't. I don't fucking want it. This is bent. Like it's Dude, literally like the hand axe. The, like the, the hand axe has oh. this wooden shaft on it, right? That's all gone. That's destroyed by Matashtai hitting it, right? But there's this tang that comes down about halfway, right? And it's horribly bent to the side. Okay, you need to keep it because if we make an enemy at some point and we need to leave them a message, like with like we take the the message and we axe it to their door. And we just have the message say, get bent. And it's just this bent ass hand. Oh, bent. come on. <laughs> come on. Okay, okay so, whatever. I'll keep it. <laughs> what would you like to do? <laughs> at this we, point. It's time to go in this door. Uh, we're going in the door. Okay. Bent okay. hand axe. So who's opening the door? I guess we'll check it to see if it's trapped. Okay. Uh, yep. See no signs of traps or issue on it. Okay, I open it, but I don't want to be in front of it when I do that. Okay, so you kind of like click and then swing it open as you step back, right? Um, yeah. Again, there's that loud, rusty kind of... <coughs> and you see behind the door a stone... Oh my god, stone... masturbation station. You see a stone <laughs> sharpening wheel complete with stone seating area and a pedal built into its base. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, Whetstone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's time to call it for the night. Yeah, I think so. Well, the day. It's a good thing that Ashes drank those two potions. It is a good thing. Are we going to the last room? You going to the last room? One, well, just one more. I think we check it out. Sure. <laughs> Can't let these well, potions go to waste. <laughs> let's go. Uh, to the hallway. <laughs> Head on back to the hallway. You guys find this long hallway at its end. It's two right. massive so double doors. Of how ominous and ornate these giant doors are i'm gonna take an extra second i'm gonna listen real good i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm feel i'm gonna check for traps i'm gonna that means i'm actually gonna roll that's what it means gotcha perceiving no 18 <laughs> actually 
I get I get advantage on hearing and smelling specifically. Well, get up here and hear and is smell. That, yeah, is that specific always or is that only if you're in your form? Uh, actually, I let me think that's me. only if you're in your form. Oh uh, no, no, no. Nope. sense. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Uh, uh, get up here and hear and smell. All right. This is this is for nothing other than than hearing. Yeah. Roll me a perception. Smelling. Damn, he thirteened. All right, seems fine. There's, I mean, there are a bunch of crazy scents all throughout this dungeon, right? The scent of decay, the scent of rot, the scent of uh, undeath and uh, blood and fire and everything. Uh, it, it, there's definitely smells beyond this door. Nothing that's discerning. There seems to be no traps. The doors are not locked. Nothing as far as that goes. Okay. I push it open. Are we doing Fuck this? It. Fuck it. No, back it up. Ashes goes back it up. Um, it's the stairway down to level two. Damn, that'd be convenient. Look at how big this floor is. We just skipped all of it. All right. We, we, we covered a lot. As you place hands it. upon the door and you go to open it, there's a sudden flash of light <sighs> as a sigil Fine, right. burns itself in the air. Oofles. I'm going to deal a card to Bones. Uh oh. That sounds ominous. Ace Bones. A one? It's dealt a card to you. A one? Is that what you got? Yeah, I got a one. Alright. <laughs> Oops. I, I clicked steal card. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> it's probably oh. trying to steal his card. <laughs> oh. Okay. Deal request. Matashtai wants to steal the card. <laughs> <laughs> Say no. <laughs> I don't want it. Alright. As this, as this ruin flares oh, across the, uh, across the, across the air, I need you to roll me, uh, do you want to, would you rather do a 1d2 or a 1d100? It's a 50-50. What, which would you prefer? I want to do a 1d100 because it's more ominous. Okay. 37. Mm -hmm. As the bane effect of this elder ruin oh. triggers. It's not great. It flashes. <sighs> I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Um, okay. 15. You know, it was sad because my first reaction is, are you 10 feet from me? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> But I was like, wait. Let me. I'm pretty sure that is a. Yeah, that is a failure. Um, oh. Okay. So you see this flash. Um, Pulling this up for anyone watching the stream or like the YouTube video so that they can actually see what is happening. So this symbol flashes, strikes through the air, um, and then you feel this seizing in your body. And you feel your vitality kind of drain and wash. You feel the life kind of go out of you. Good, good, good. You are, you're not harmed, right? But you get, I get the, the sense. bane effect on this card. You get the sense that yeah, you uh, cannot be healed. Yeah, that's fucking. That is not what this card says. Which uh, what card is it? Lameth. Oh, you said one. It is a one. Oh, it, that oh. must mean I have one card. Oh Sorry. yes, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Let me let me okay, pull so up. Let me pull up a different Lameth. card. Yeah, yeah. So it is this card instead. Uh, so for the, the so instead 
uh, you got the Elder Ruin of Security actually, for the next... Actually, much fucking worse. <laughs> a little worse. For the next 24 hours, the target can't gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws. Wow. Um, and oh, as this crap. happens, right, this, this Ruin flashes across the air, and the door opens into a giant hall and you all hear this oh no it's god damn loud as fuck motherfucker and, <laughs> and i think that's where we'll pick up next time damn so we're just gonna leave then yeah we gotta <laughs> we're, 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 we're night boys right yeah, we don't want to be night boys, let's, that door. We're just, uh, let's just uh run away we're just gonna run away so, uh, we will pick up here next time, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be initiative. Oh, um, shit. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, the Anyone watching can see what is here. But, uh, all right. Has been fun. See you guys next week. That's a cruel tease, Jeremy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Later.